Welcome to the Samwell B12 Experience, where we have you covered for all the NHL action, play-by-play, -play, news, and more. Make sure to subscribe today. What's up, everybody? It's about that time. Here we go. The Oilers kicking it off against the Sabres. This was your vote. This was who you wanted to see, and we are bringing it here with you. I can't wait. Always fun to watch these Oilers go. I hope you enjoyed a brand new hype video, and our little goofy, silly Stanley Cup is coming. I can't wait. We're less than a month away. Oh, it's going to be awesome. It's coming, and it's coming fast. But welcome in, not at home. How's it going? Dan, what's up? 
I am welcome in Matthew. Hello, Lucas. What's going on? Dan, Cherry, Christopher, welcome in one and all. And if you're not in the chat, if you're just watching along Ninja for right now, thank you so much for coming in. We do invite you to come into the chat. Say hello. Let us know who you are because we would certainly love to chat along with you. This is going to be a great game tonight, so let's get right in and let you know who we're expecting to see, who are the stars for tonight's game. And first, for those Buffalo Sabres who are 33, 32, and 5, we got uh, Zungus Gergensens. He's in top line with Tage Thompson and Alex Tuck. We got Jordan Greenway with Peyton Krebs and Jeff Skinner. Zach Benson is here with Dylan Cousins and J.J. Patrika. Then we got Lucas Rusk with Tyson Jost and Victor Olofsson. On the D side, Bowen Byram is with Rasmus Dahlin. We got Owen Power and Henry Jakaru. Jacob Bryson with Connor Clifton and Uka Pekka Lukanen set to get the start tonight. He's going to be in there looking to shut down the Edmonton Oilers. Now for those Oilers who are 41, 21, and 4, that is amazing. 41 wins. Here is the Oilers lineup. Wesley, how's it going? Welcome in. Hello there, Hayden. Here we go. Evander Kane is going to be with Connor McDavid and Zach Hyman. We got Ryan McLeod with Leon Dreisaitl and Warren Fogle. Ryan Nugent Hopkins with Adam Henrique and Connor Brown. Then Matthias Yanmark with Sam Carrick and Corey Perry. On the D side, it's Matthias Ekholm with Evan Bouchard. We got Darnell Nurse with Troy Stetcher. Brett Kulak and Cody Cece are together. And Stuart Skinner expected to get the start here tonight. Derek Ryan is a healthy scratch. And Vinny DeHarnay has an undisclosed injury. So I'm not, not too happy about that one. Hope he is okay. Coming into this game, Rasmus Dahlin. He comes in with the team a lead in points for this season. The Sabres have yet to have a defenseman finish the season with the team lead in points outright or tied. JDA, what's going on? Welcome in. For Stuart Skinner, Skinner comes into this game with 30 wins on the season and can establish the third most in a single season by an Oilers goaltender at the age of 25 or younger. The only others to record at least 30 are Grant Fuhrer and Andy Moog. So Stuart Skinner in some pretty good company and looking to uh, increase his win total there. So those are the two big stats going into this game. Now a lot of games on the schedule tonight. So real quickly, just to catch you up, earlier today, game still in motion. The Jets and the Devils, they're tied at ones in the third period Blues are up 3-1 over the Senators in the third period. Rangers 3-2 over the Boston Bruins in the third period. We got the Islanders losing to the Red Wings 3-1. That one just underway in the third. That's a big one. Islanders need points. Red Wings trying to hold on to that last wild card spot. The Hurricanes, they're up 2-1 over the Flyers as Flyers continue to have an awkward up and down season. Predators 2-0 over my Florida Panthers. Oh, I'm in shock. I'm hurting. But the Preds doing a nice job. They are on a, such a tear. So that are all the games in motion. Of course, we'll be checking in and watching along as this evening moves through. And it looks like we just got a goal. 3-2 uh, now, St. Louis in Ottawa. So those ones are catching all up. But thanks for coming in. Thanks for joining us tonight. This is going to be a very exciting game. A couple of the NHL's best, Connor McDavid, Tage Thompson, of course, Zach Hyman having an unbelievable year. In the hot hands to watch over the last five games, Connor McDavid, he has eight points in his last five. Tage Thompson with six in his last five. For the goals, Zach Hyman, three goals in his last five games. Skinner, four in his last five. On the assist front, no surprise, Connor McDavid, five assists in his last five. Thompson for the Sabres, four in his last five. Evan Bouchard, a plus six in the last five games. And Gergensen's a plus six as well in the last five. B. Disney, how's it going? Uh, B. Disney, can you do me a favor? 
Um, can you do your points, check your points, um, take a like a screenshot of it, and then do the gamble, take a screenshot of the winnings, and then check your points after. Uh, the help support desk has asked me for some screenshots, and I thought if you wouldn't mind um, taking a couple screenshots as you see it, that would be great. You can send them over to me and I'll forward them. So thank you very much. Ryan, what's going on? <laughs> I know. Oh, it's the Preds. The Preds of all people. Killing me. I'm a stranger here. What's going on? Welcome in. All right. We're going to get some anthems going on here. There's a little ceremony taking place in Edmonton. As soon as uh, they get the ceremony done with and we get the anthems underway, we're going to drop the puck and have a good game. Stuart Skinner, like I said, 30 wins on the season. Boy, oh boy, he has impressed me. I don't know about you, but I didn't know what to expect of Skinner coming into the season, and he really has been holding up well. They had a shaky start, the Oilers did, but man, oh man, they've been on a tear since, and they do not look to be slowing down. Emojin, welcome in. Good to see you. Thanks for being here today. Ooh, did they update this already so I can actually bring it to life? <gasps> They did. All right, let me get this situated. And then we will, uh, we're getting ourselves set. The game will be taking place momentarily. There we go. All right, we are rocking and rolling. So some new additions here on the stream as we got our new on ice graphics back up. So we're going to play with these. Gator, what's going on? Welcome to the show. Again, thank you all for joining us tonight. If you're just coming in, again, they've got a little ceremony going on. We'll be joining to the game momentarily. But make sure you do hit that like as you come in. And if you haven't subscribed already, hit that subscribe. Red Wings winning, locking up. Yeah, boy, oh boy, Red Wings are impressive. Red Wings, shocking right now. Shocking. These Detroit Red Wings, not, uh, I mean, not what I would have expected. Do my best. I'm tech. <laughs> B Disney. It's all good. I appreciate it. Thank you for for helping us out there. But yeah, the Red Wings. If they hold off this win, if they pull off this win today, that will put them up to 78 points. Uh, Washington and the Islanders falling further and further away. The Islanders actually they've they've lost five of their last five, and they have the Jets coming up on Saturday. That's going to be tough for the Islanders. The Red Wings have the Predators on Saturday, so that's going to be a tough matchup for them as well. Washington with the Hurricanes tomorrow, so all three of those teams in that battle for the last wildcard spot in the East have tough, tough matchups coming in the next couple of days. See the Red Wings on Easter Eve in Fort Lauderdale. There you go, Ryan. Oh, it's going to be a blast. You're going to have so much fun going there. Quinita, welcome in in the chat before watching the favorite to your favorite team. It's going to be a doozy tonight. I mean, you cannot count out the Buffalo Sabres. They are a tough, tough team. Hockey from home, welcome in. you not at home. You want to see Buffalo win this one. <laughs> Interested. Listen, Buffalo was one of my picks this year to actually have a good season. And boy, oh boy, <laughs> was I wrong. Buffalo struggled out of the gate. They had a better season than Montreal, who is my other pick to be a, a much improved team. Uh, but Detroit, Detroit getting it done. They are much improved. Buffalo next year. Next year will be Buffalo's year to get even higher in those standings. They have such a good young squad that Buffalo should be a better team than they are. I mean, what Tage Thompson has done, what he continues to do is absolutely incredible. Want to see the oil? Oh, yeah. Want to see the Oilers win this one? You like Byram? Byram's a good player. He's a good player. That was a great deal. I mean, they have such a young and a big young defense core. Um, plus, you know, with Devin Levi continuing to develop, Buffalo's got a lot of young pieces. They could be, uh, you know, over the next couple of years, a team that really surprises a lot of people. So that's going to be super exciting. All right. They got. The anthems are just about done. Then we'll be getting underway with this hockey game. Can't wait to get the puck dropped. We will be piping in the play-by-play -play and having a whole lot of fun as we go. Now, while we're waiting, just to let you know, while you're chatting along with us here today, 
you're earning points, points along the way. Uh, image and formerly blue kitten. Want to see the Oilers win? Okay, there you go. Imagine. I got it. Awesome. Formerly blue kitten. Well, welcome, Imagine. Thank you for that explanation. Um, appreciate it. So you are earning points just by chatting along. You can check your points at any time in the chat by doing exclamation mark points. That will tell you exactly what points you have. And then with those points, you can redeem graphics up on the screen. We got Oilers. We got Sabres. We got a bunch of random stuff. But it's time to get this game underway. So let's bring up the boys, get set, and play some Thursday night hockey. Another shot at the Sabres. He's won two and one lifetime against Buffalo. Stuart Skinner. But he's been excellent in his last seven starts playing with 9.41. Obi was on fire. Obi, Obi's picking up two goals last night. I mean, the first one was a beauty. The second one was a kind of eh. But listen, Obi can't have done. Fire and Cousins fans are buddies. No way. Really, John, they spent it all together. That's awesome. Very good. Cool. A half minute to score the first goal of the game for Edmonton, but the Oilers coughed up a 2 0 lead, partly due to that man, Dylan Cousins, who always <laughs> seems to save his best. For I, the need, I need Florida to come back and win in Boston to lose. That's what I'm talking about. All right, time to drop There's the puck. Get this game underway. Troy Here Stetcher we go. Once again, paired together with Vinny Dayarnay. Unable to go, we're underway. Edmonton Buffalo, the rematch of a 3 2 shootout win for the Sabres on March the 9th. And it's the flag streak again. Your starting line is brought to you by our friends at Scotiabank, believing there's a place for all Canadians in Canada's game. Jordan Greenway, who did not appear in the matchup 12 days ago. An early block on Stetcher, and it's lifted out by Zach Benson. A clear to center, and rifled back in by Darnell Nurse. Benson still 18 years of age. Looking at a brief fumble, but recovered. And when McLeod's centering pass deflects out, Disney. Perfect. it'll be Edmonton on its horse back into its own zone. Evan Bouchard with five assists in his last four games pulls up. And we're underway here in Edmonton, Louis. Yeah. Minute gone by. Always a tough matchup for the Oilers. It is an important start here for Edmonton. As you see, they start the same line that scored 29 seconds in on March 9th. And a good shift in the offensive zone. Make the Buffalo Sabres defend. And that's what's going to have to happen tonight go, for Edmonton. This see. is a team that if you give them some space, you give them room, they'll find opportunities. They have players that can put the puck in the back of the net. Yeah, they're having off So as the goals come in, we will put them last in year, the bottom. They're so still they will a very dangerous team. Only five points out of the playoffs. The point. And as you mentioned right now, Luke and I want to see the Oilers. The I think they've got I'm him going the Oilers. We got our Oilers. We got our Oilers. We got our Oilers. McDavid, all star jersey on, represented. Has given up more than three goals in exactly one of his last 27 starts. They consider that a quality start when you give up three or less. He's done it for Buffalo. 26 in the last 27. Here's a clear for Alex Tuck, and this will turn into an icing call an against icing the call. Sabres, so again, who a bit of a slow start here. in Vancouver. 3-2 on Tuesday night. Take a number the of penalties. Edmonton, meanwhile, Chris Doblock told us Louie played just well enough to beat Montreal 3-2 in overtime on Tuesday. No, they like to make it a little easier no on themselves. Never an easy game in the National Hockey League. But go out and do the going. things you can control, I think, is what Chris Knobloch is talking about with this team. Have an effort to put pucks in behind. Go to work in this game. Don't look like it's going to be an easy game and think that's what's going to happen. Dig in thinking it's going to be tough, and it'll be a lot easier. Here's Tuck trying to center, and McDavid got just enough for Tage Thompson to throw him off stride. Tuck tried to feed Thompson again. Thompson scored his first goal in this building, and Louis last year he scored says, one of the prettiest the goal, goals Buffalo. all year in this goal. building. And he pulls up here, a towering six foot five presence. And Louis likes the way he shoots the ball. He can zip it. Here's a free puck in front, score. and it's tucked home hey, by John. JJ please don't Paterka. put the uh, please don't put the scores in until we call them. Okay? in front of Skinner. He beats him at 138. <laughs> Elevated.
elevate him up so on Buffalo the line. Buffalo picking up a lousy With goal. With Thompson talking, it pays off. And again, watch the bouncing that one puck. Coming in the team. The key just alive. beat in this front. A broken play. It's flipped over right in front. I mean, that's quick a great job on the bottom him. of the face-off circle. Just kind of get a Skinner piece was of this there. No worries. The no worries. I know with the delays and stuff, it's a little funny. And he settles it down. Great poise in front of the net, though. He doesn't just slap this puck. He's got 22 goals now in the season. But a quick start. Putting that one in. Picking up the first goal of the game again. A minute two teams here. Buffalo's not a good start first in Sabres have been slow starters. Dreadful in the first period. A dash 27 coming in. That's only the 30th time all year the Sabres have gotten the first goal. 30 times in 71 games. But they break out here with Peyton Krebs and control the puck. But Turk, as Louie mentioned, I mean, poised in front of the net, especially for a guy on a dry spell. He'd only scored twice in his last 18 games prior to that goal. And yeah, stops and picks his spot in for McDavid. He saw Tuck in a bad position, so he figured he could get a little closer to that scrum and try and steal that puck. Great job by Tuck. The one-handed knuckler gets by him, and Turk is all alone. Tuck and Thompson with the helpers. And again, that's settled for Paterka just in time. Assists for Tuck he's now. able to bury it. He's now second on the clock. Spencer, how's it going? Welcome in. in. On Monday in Seattle, the 24 has four goals for the Buffalo Sabres. And you're playing on a team where Dave Thompson had 47 years ago. I've got you not at home. Was north of Your secret is safe with us. Look at Haru. Under pressure in the zone, zone for Buffalo. This crowd quieted by that early strike from the Sabres. Down to one knee. Tyson Jost kept it alive for Owen Powell. Heading for the net and wristing one off the blocker of Stuart Skinner. Surprising Skip. start here by Buffalo. Grabbed by Sam Carrick. He's stymied by Victor Olsen. So career Stewart high, back to Stetcher up the middle. Broken up by Power. Gloved by Lucan. Not a guy you want to have to rally against. Not the way he's been playing. His first ever start against Edmonton. And that'll be important, Jeff. You bring up a good point. Get to him. Yeah. Make it a and tough Jack night. Moves the puck up. Edmonton's coming kind of right down the middle. Two, and he threw him Dry side off. Forgot the Lula. puck. Turned it over. With the way that puck hopped off. 40 Jordan Green brings it the other way. Who saw that coming? Who saw that coming? Who grew up very close to Buffalo. Oilers in the corner. They're going to play this up. Subtle, firing out to center. One touched on by Matias Ekholm. The cloud will pull up. Look for the trailer. Dry subtle on the back end. Just missed short side. Rebound to McLeod. Cross ice. Dry subtle. Drag moved in the middle. Shovels in front. Fogel won't able to finish. Bowen Byron acquired in that deadline deal that sent Casey Middlestad out toward Colorado. That puck exited the zone. So Edmonton will tag back up. In the meantime, Byron. He's been playing a ton, nearly 26 minutes when he scored off against the Oilers. He's able to muscle it inside the Edmonton blue line. Yeah, Kulak to Kane. Sorry, Paul. Oilers are already in some trouble. Great young defense score here in Buffalo. Buffalo. Sabre yeah, zone early here. Power. The injured Matias Samuelson, just an absolute horse like his dad was. Sabre's losing possession gets again. The Sabres so holding much needed heaviness when he's in there. Power Cross shot. Ice, and, and there's a glove by Skinner, by Skinner gonna hang. On to it as the pickle man coming out for a little dance at center ice. This period, the Oilers really, 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 really have not woken up here. They got to get things going. I don't think they expected. No, this is a strong here. Great out here from the Buffalo Sabres. Get some speed to the middle. Just bobbles a little bit. It was a three on two that it developed. And most likely a good chance with a poised play here by McLeod. Finds Dreisaitl. This backhand had eyes up high on the shorthand side. There was a little space. And Dreisaitl, one of the best in the backhand side, almost finds the back of the net there. And then a nice pass in front to Fogel, planting himself in front of Lukanen, which will be really important. That's a template right there of what every line should be doing in this game. Find the offensive zone, work it to the net. Oilers finally Kulak coming in. Kulak in on the left -hand bringing side. it in Tangled down low. Krebs, was able to wrestle it free and ship it back. Back to the line. To Oilers putting it across the CC, sending it to the net. Just a slide rebound. And in front, he Corey Perry in. almost able to mash that one home. Loose in the corner, grabbed by Nugent Hopkins, playing with Adam Henrique and Perry tonight. CC again. CC stepping up over to Kulak. Shot, Shot tip again. Just wide. Rebound for Henrique. It's a bit of a momentum turning shift thus far for Edmonton, though. Eugene Hopkins behind Eugene the net. Hopkins coming out in front for CC a shot. CC did not Banks up that a couple through. legs and goes and Another opportunity for Krebs to move it out, but he can't get away from Adam Henrique. 
Bryson who scored the game time goal in the third period on March the 9th. Okay, Watches the lead pass up. from Skinner. First one in there, got to be careful. Skinner will play it up the left-hand boards, and that's slashed back to center by Carrick. Connor Brown will dump this one in. Edmonton lost that game in Buffalo despite winning more than 80% of the draw. Something that lost tonight as the Oilers are baited into an offside. Well, you Good pace now. We're finally getting some here. skating. To go off the box on the net. We talked about what's going on. just works himself the Oilers, into the eyes of Luke and Ray. He's got look around and doesn't Buffalo's see Olympic team that well. doesn't miss by much. And that presence in front of the net will be critical. But the speed is where in this game. game with a big goaltender like Luke and he sees a lot. He's saving a lot, getting his eyes, make it difficult, and have that shot mentality from the points to get him down and draw against Jouse. And Eric was a perfect getting waved out against Buffalo in the faceoff circle. And I just jinxed him. Lucic's going to come in. He's going to win the draw. Lucas Buffalo. Lucic. He's He's been been good this one through the neutral zone. Oh, so and important. Deep into the and it's one of the things, especially the penalty kill out behind the net. First to get puck down the ice on the power play. You're in zone with the puck. I mean, we talked about Buffalo about picking it up again. Buffalo is still in there behind the net. Face-off team. You have the puck more often. Stetcher is going to throw this one ahead. Breakaway pass. Trying to get Yenmark on the go. In the corner, battling well, for it. By Yoko Haru, but Edmonton has it back in the offensive zone, digging at it. Willers coming away to the point to Bouchard. Bouchard. He's going to flip this to the corner. Here's a shot, shot point blank. And that one's going to go by just wide. Prep, welcome in. Good evening. Welcome in, everybody. As you are coming in, hit that thumbs up for us. Power look to cut it off. Carrick able to hold it in for a moment. Still battling, and finally. Sabres coming away with it. Nurse Olofsson. tries to throw a hit. Wasn't very effective. Here's the Sabres coming right up the gut. Here's a shot. Skinner got a piece and steers it to the corner. Skinner going to grab that one and hang on to it again. Buffalo throwing pucks towards the net. Skinner has to be careful. And they're going to go to commercial break as Patera getting the first goal. One nothing Sabres in a shocking start to this game. Welcome in everyone. If this is your first time joining us, my name is Sam. This is the Samwell B12 experience. We are one month away from the playoffs, and I can't wait. We're following the Oilers to see what they will do, what they can do. They've put themselves in a great position down the stretch, and uh, they will be in this playoffs. They are are definitely secured with 86 points there in there the la kings coming up with 83 the nashville predators what a tear they're on with a win tonight over the florida panthers if they can pull it off they will also move up to 86 points which is absolutely incredible absolutely incredible vegas with 79 points they're hanging on as minnesota and st louis are coming up right behind them the central division is super interesting. I'm going to be watching this every single night. Winnipeg, Colorado, Dallas, all tied with 93 points. Dallas has played 70 games. Colorado, 69. Winnipeg, 68. So you know the Central Division is where it's at in terms of the competition. Chris Mann, what's going on? Go Buffalo. The Sabres fans are in the house tonight. Chris, I look forward to to seeing your final score prediction tomorrow morning after the game. <laughs> Always have a good laugh at those ones. All right, they're just coming back from commercial break. Devils are up 3-1 now. Oh boy, oh boy. Shot and win a peg. Down, Rangers still up 3-2. The Panthers scored it. Well, yet, no, they're still down 2-0. Here you can go. Probably the best look so far in this first period clean for Everton as this puck comes back to him. Jack, what's going on? Welcome in. Go Buffalo. Lots of Buffalo. There's a dry line that creates a couple. Follow it up. You saw Corey Perry in front of the That's next funny. shift with a good deflection in front. And then that good chance by Carrick. Three shifts in a row. Edmonton hemmed in the Sabres. But it is an 8-3 shot edge for Buffalo. Seven minutes in. Stepping up is Rasmus Dalliner. Float one into the order. End. Whipped around the boards. Cut off by Jordan Greenwood. They'll funnel it down low. Zach Benson. Checked by McLeod. 
Tyron did not hold that puck in, and now winning the race. Here's Edmonton busting through with a shot fed on it. At the last second, by coming around Byron. far side to Drysaddle. Leon Drysaddle, beautiful pass. In front, another blast and a great save, open net, and that one goes just wide. The corner by Byron. Putting it just wide. Daniel Barry, what's going on? Welcome in. Here's the dish to the trailer Greenway. Keep those wings, Jack. Skate out near the those blue wings. That one off the shin pads of Bouchard. Cleared out and to Warren Fogle. And now Bouchard activates Coming down the right-hand side, Bouchard is going to pull up and turn back as the Oilers are changing up. It over to pass up the middle, turned over momentarily. Now the Oilers the put this one back down deep. The oldest active roster in the league versus the youngest. As Louie talked so, about, oh, Buffalo the youngest. Dallas, I could so the go for a milkshake. Never thought I'd say that. Somebody <laughs> wants to do a milkshake so rush and drop it off. Was a <laughs> young, quick team. They've Just a classic up. chocolate shake for me. They've added some older players, and I think by design, Jack, is to give them that veteran Trent presence. So we got a penalty coming up here. Paterka's going to draw it here, and Buffalo will go Iman's to the power play. going to go to the box. To, Buffalo to, to the power yeah, play. Tough one into the zone as he just gets his stick in the wrong Yikes. spot. Here's that chance by Fogle. Just kind of now you will notice. You will notice there's a little bit of a delay the right between the stats pass by on the screen and, and what we call the just the nature of unfortunately some of these speeds when they come in with a delay. Oh, that was a terrible call. Terrible call. I mean, a trip to trip, but that was that was pretty darn. Play to Buffalo. It's been a problematic I mean, unit for Buffalo all year him. long. It's 27 so would in the do league, well three for its last lot. 22. <laughs> That, that's true, Preps. On the true. Sabres roster. Thank you for the subscribe, whoever hit that button. I should killing unit. Which has been clicking along at 85 percent all year Maybe long. Maybe when uh, the little ones Fourth asleep will in the get up. On hold on screen with Lizard or Flurry run the boards, or something. That would be good. Spin move. Saber Gets setting it up. up. Dalene with a shot. shot. Nice save. Spend that one off 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 Greenway will send it around to the dangerous Thompson. Steps up. Thompson with a blast. That one is reflected in the corner. Oilers doing a nice job getting in front of these shots. Trying to part up against Greenway. Those two have tagged it Now they get it out the and down clear. the ice. So the Oilers brings the Buffalo power play down to a minute. Yeah, the one thing in a penalty kill you have to be is you have to be more urgent than the power play to lo those loose pucks you saw. That should Kulak be a thing. A nice block power play motion. Down the ice. Get to it Every first. time. Thompson. Your favorite really team hits a power play. We need some kind of a Talk. milkshake snack. Tried to put it in front. Eckholm stymied that. Played a great <laughs> right game prep. against Montreal. That's Did usually when we do our Baskin Robbins one. There's a blast high and over the net. Kids are asleep. <laughs> I'll take two scoops, please. I don't even think he wound up all the way, Jack. That was a full back like in the room. Just a little bit above half, up. and he crushed that one. That puck was up on edge, too. We got about a 30 second delay between the on screen graphic and our call. And here's Buffalo, two on one. Shot, and Skinner's going to grab and hang on him to it. 4 2 now, Rangers over the Bruins. Thank you, Spencer. That's what I like to see. Face off against Payne. So, this is going to be a doozy of a game as they continue to pressure. Buffalo or Buffalo. Edmonton was playing much better until they took that penalty. Well, you can see why Dolly trip for second in defense goals this year was seven. And by the way, for those that he watched along with line. us wasn't much of a last night, just a few leaps in the Washington and he Capitals. Rips a great entry Tom Wilson with the wraparound smack to the Skitter's face. Best with save the of the game so far. Uh, Noah Gregor. Uh, he did get a high sticking penalty. A good he has been offered an in-person hearing, which means it should be a minimum of a five-game suspension. Tom Wilson is facing some suspension time. When the whole Morgan Riley situation come up, that's what everyone was saying. You get summoned to an in-person hearing. It's a minimum of five games. A phone CC. hearing Edmonton is, I think they said four or less. Across to Byron, looking for a lane. Here's Buffalo a shot. That one's going to get knocked down. Penalty is over. We are at even strength here. Oilers trying to move it out. They do. Coming down the right side. It's McDavid. McDavid going to feed it across with a shot. Great save. Wow. Another stick lift. Here come the Oilers again. 
Dreisaitl, McDavid, Hyman, Dreisaitl, ditching. Passing it back to Bouchard with a snapper. It's there in front. They're smashing at it. The goaltender is down, and he's going to smother it up. McDavid giving some punches in front of the net there, showing some frustration here. Wow. A couple great saves by Lukanen. On the last little sequence, loaded up after a penalty kill for Evans. This and Buffalo goaltender is absolutely to wicked and wild right away. now. They're going to take another commercial break, and the Oilers are happy because it gives them a moment to figure out what on earth is going on. A couple odd man rushes. The Oilers coming down. They cannot solve him. They cannot get it through. Absolutely crazy. Lukanen, the goaltender, Wow, I believe he's from Finland, if I'm not mistaken. And he is looking real good. Lewis, how's it going? Welcome to the show. Great to see ya. So this game is one. Sorry, I just got a, a note there. Um... I don't know what I'm going to do about that. Oh, okay, I'll solve it. So much coming in right now. So busy. So much going on. If you are a basketball fan, if you are a March Madness fan, if you're looking to listen in on YouTube to the games during the day, check out our good friend On The Go with CeeLo. He is going to be running through March Madness all tournament long. So if you are on, want to be on YouTube and listen into the games while you're at work or doing what you do, check him out on the go with CeeLo. Mark, how's it going? Welcome in. Sam is mad. Rangers 1-4-2. Yes, Rangers pull it out. That's awesome. Talking about Boston, if you didn't see, the clip has been circulating on social media. The game when Jake McCabe from Toronto cross-checked Marshawn in the face. Remember when that happened? Um, he was mic'd up. Marshawn was mic'd up when that happened. So you can hear Marshawn going on a tear, screaming at him, threatening him, all that stuff. It was awesome to see him throwing such a temper tantrum. Uh, if you didn't see it, search Marshawn mic'd up Toronto. It's great. It is great. All right, just coming back here. Let's turn this back up. Look at it. Get her going. We'll Five to two run. now. Yeah, it work. Rangers well over crowded. the Bruins. Henrique wins the faceoff. Blasted by Bouchard. Did not make it through. Here's that goal. Bouchard. Nugent Hopkins flooded him on net. And that was kicked aside by Lucan. Putting some pressure on back that. Back to Eckle. Bouchard. Eckle. Sending it around the boards. Perry tried to snap it inside, and that was broken up. Alex Tuck is able to lift back to center. Sabres are staring at long odds. Likely going to miss the playoffs for a 13th straight year. Here's Nugent Hopkins in the line. That was swept in the by Luke. If they get in, it's going to be UPL who carries them there. Shot by Bouchard. That was blocked. Bouncing and puck. Of the net, not boilers. clear. Back to the line. No stick up. up top. For There's a Bouchard. broken stick and drop stick just Dish inside it. the blue line. Eckholm thought Eckholm about a one timer. That stick Gives it to Bouchard. Bouchard. Still no Bouchard. 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 Scores, my Two goodness. Nothing. Skinner just lead. missed it again. And Louis. Wow. Up on the, the player side as far they as came in. And this kind of looked offside. like offside to this me. This is going to be really close. Just saying, Mr. Snow, how's it going? But yeah, that looks That's offside This to me. is going to so, be offside. I, I mean, didn't you know say what? anything Sometimes that last when it first move, right? transpired. Yeah. But I think you Owen come across the line. It's a quick little offside. move across the this line, and they are going to challenge this one. Obviously, have to wait and see. It's going to come up. But it's going to come up. But that's the shot at Dolly. I mean, you don't have to. Skinner. Even though this goal is going to come Skinner up, Skinner just missed that wrister right there is again, what he has. Again, I think he's going to get a challenge here. The one time we already saw this is a dangerous defense. And we are getting a challenge here. And 
this coach's challenge brought to you by Specsavers. Let's Quality see eye what care is going to happen. 6-3 now Should've Detroit. To Detroit Although, is ripping in this it. Case, Louis, a lot of goals you going and I, with our untrained eyes. Well, yours something. is trained. <laughs> that was a, that was a pretty obvious guess. Okay, I had to see the replay. Let's see. <laughs> pretty the quick. So I understand it. You can see this ooh, puck. Ooh, ooh. Yes. There it is right there. It has Offside. not crossed yeah. the line just yet. by a hair it's of my chinny chin. And it was chin. just that little delay at the line. You see it so often. Your head's up. You're not really looking. You make that last little move instead of just pushing it over the line. You'll see a lot of players do that now just to make sure it's onside. Extend over the line to make sure you have the onside. I'll turn it down a little bit there. Is that there. better? As Here's the call. As we've been all year long, Lou. After reviewing the play, can you yeah. please reset the clock to 7.29? The play was offside, no goal. Right. Offside, no goal. See, for me, the only way I can describe it is... Pew, 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 pew. Yeah, you no goal. Maybe three hands that went up. There was yeah. That's much better. Well, awesome. Right, thank you, Mr. Offside. Snow. Thank you, Prep. They got it. I mean, that's yeah. the reason the rule's in place, why you have a coach's challenge, and they use it effectively. The challenge comes through. Darlene's so, goal is taken away. Noah Siegel and crew come through now again for Edmonton. Of McDavid course, can make it even worse. Let him go down the ice and put one in. The offside on the overtime winner that Louis was talking about with Owen Power. <laughs> Eventually the Sabres wanted in a shootout. That's now, right, Mark, like we had last night. Exactly. A good thing we were for a Except game. that one. <laughs> that one was a hat trick goal. I think Matthews is still sulking a little bit over that. I should have had three. There's another shot coming in. Skinner's going to grab that one and hang on to it. And Skinner able to come up with it. 7.07 to go here in the first period. Thank you for hitting that subscribe. You know, welcome in, everyone. Thanks for joining. If you're just coming in to check us out, make sure you tap that thumbs up. It's free to do, and it helps us out so much. And, wow, my thumb really bends back. That's not normal. But, yeah, hit that thumbs up for us. We appreciate it. Nashville 2 nothing. beginning of the third period. All right, Ryan, keep me posted. I know you will. He's got tremendous Oilers bringing it right down. Here they come, driving in front of the net, tip and fight just wide. That was broken up. Buffalo picking up this loose puck now. They're going to bring this one out, throwing it right down. Skinner is going to steer it over to the corner. Greenway who's jumping on it. Buffalo seals back over Greenway. He's going to throw it around back to the line for Byram. He plays it back into Greenway. Little juke and jiving in the corner, coming out to the side of the hash marks. Buffalo misses it. It's going to bobble and come out of the zone. Here's Byram. Negated Benson initially. Shaver is going to play this up. Edmonton trying to pull it out of the zone. They finally do. But again, Buffalo regroups. They're going to play this one up. Locating Benson and now Jordan Greenway. Oilers struggling Thompson here. This support, line of the Buffalo Sabres is too much to handle. Here's Thompson putting it off the back of the net, trying to spin away. Here comes the Oilers to help out defensively. Going to play it to the half boards. Now here comes the Oilers. Oilers on a move. Stay away from that bench. Here they come, flying in. Two on one. CC jumps up. Can't get the puck across. Nice play there, Ryan McLeod. Perhaps did not recognize that McLeod could both. Saber is going to put this one up and out. Darlene leading the, skate, the Sabres, 52 points this season. Here they come again, the Oilers dropping it to Bouchard. Bouchard with a quick shot and an easy save there for Lukanen. BCHL, welcome in. For Buffalo, Rasmus Darlene thought he had made it 2-0, shook it off and made it tremendous. So they're going to go to another commercial break boy oh boy this game the pace the it like climbs it ramps up and then it suddenly comes right back down and slows and it's going to keep being like that buffalo really suffocating these oilers in this first period the oilers cannot find a way to really get it going they get a rush here a rush there and then buffalo shuts them down mr snow the sabers are out of the playoffs they are just on the outside but they're gonna run out of room to get in they're currently sitting in fifth place they have 71 points they catch the detroit red wings the red wings look like they're gonna be up at 78 points after their win today so they are gonna be very hard pressed they would have to jump over the islanders and the capitals and the red wings to get in to that second 
playoff spot. Goaltending is key. Yeah, goaltending is absolute key. Skinner, who's looked a little shaky already, and Lukanen looks rock solid. Looks great. Yeah, Dan, it, it's blocked out. Uh, it's blocked out on Sportsnet. Um, it's blocked out in a lot of regions, but uh, I can't. A magician does not reveal his tricks, unfortunately. <laughs> it's all all I can say. But let's just say I was I was very close to trying to figure out how I was going to pull this off. But uh, a little birdie helped me out. So that's that's all we're going to say. But we got to see if these Oiler team, if this Oiler team can come back. They have so much talent. Well, come back. It's only one goal. But we got to see if they can get the pace going. That's the problem. The Oilers, no consistency in their speed. Maybe trying to do a little bit too much. It's safe to Five say. and a half to go. Range and he's found the <laughs> Troy Mark, residency draw, coming soon. Located outlet for Tuck and Paterka tried to flip it in. Bouchard a good midair whack at it. Tuck Here he comes again. Thompson rips shot. one in. Great save there by Skinner. He had to be strong. Coming across in the corner. Sabres moving it to the point. They're going to flip this back into the corner. Now it goes up. Doesn't go over the glass. Bouchard here to pick it up and play this one across. Pass it up. Say, uh, Oilers going to tip this one in. Now the four check is on. They can't get there. Sabres moving it up. Taking a look. Here comes Patrick again. Going to move it ahead. They are flying in. Tuck going to the front of the net. And there is the puck tipped up and out of play. And this is what we expected. Jack, Jack why, do you, why do you think he's a joke? I, I'm curious of your opinion. What don't you like about him? I know I've been very impressed with Connor McDee. He's doing a lot of pretty amazing things. Goal score from last year. A little bit of an off year this year. Has dealt with some injuries, but He'll you know back. he's coming back and he's starting to shoot the puck. Very dangerous. He'll be 35 and up next year. I have no doubt. And the Sabres, you know, a lot of them had career years last year, but the truth is always usually in the middle. Skinner trying to break loose on Troy Stetcher. Gained the line, but then was stripped from behind by Darnell Nurse. Skinner, that blocker save on going to chip this one out. On Here they come, Edmonton. On the move. I can't see who that is. Coming down the far side. Forked it over to Nugent Hopkins. Not that Lucan hasn't been great as well. He put one behind his own net for Connor Cliff. You see, Dana, I would agree. And even though he only has 26 goals right now, 82 assists is off the chart. Wings can knock Force out Tampa Bay Lightning. I'll pick up a wing Tampa. I believe. There you go. This is the time of year when fans of one team start becoming fans of a lot of other teams, depending on how they can help. And Buffalo scores. No. Olofsson just, just turns and rifles this one. I didn't even see how this went in. Yeah, he's always had a great shot. They were scrambling around. Everybody seemed to have their man okay. Buffalo steps in. They get to the faceoff line. They put it to the slot. It was bobbled. You know what? Skinner went with the glove, and he just missed it. Fade away, and was it tipped? This may have been tipped by Jost right in front of the net. He's battling hard. And it's 2-0 Buffalo, and again, a high shot with a presence in front finds its way home. So I don't know if this was a tip, but boy, oh boy, a nice shot. Olofsson Skinner having to deal with Buffalo battling Byron. hard in front, and the Sabres go up 2-0, surprisingly. 2-0. Wow. Caught a piece of that, Louie, but even if he had, I agree with you. Yeah. When I got a second look at it, didn't look like it would have been wiped off the board. So 2-0 Buffalo, and now Ekholm. Centering off the pads of Lucan. And again, the task becomes that much more imposing because of what Lucan has done 
over the last three months. Well, I'll tell you, if you don't know who Luke is, you're going to find out very shortly in the next year because he is really starting to emerge as a goaltender of the future for this Buffalo Sabres team. As you mentioned earlier, 26 in the last 27, three or less goals against him. Here's Kane off the rush, a shot that's eaten up by Lukanen with 2.43 to so go. Byram and Roos picking up the assists there. Cujo, what's going on? Welcome to the show. Run electric with the new John Deere electric zero turn. Yeah, and if you're just coming in, make sure to hit that thumbs up button for us. Deer line. Run with us today. Seven likes away from 50. Yeah, McKay with a little bit of a drive down the ice. Here's the shot by Olofsson. He just kind of spin shoots. He has an awareness of where that net is. And Jost does a great job in the ice. Does a great job in the ice. Evander Kane has a little scrub there afterwards. Left to go in the period. Buffalo, the Buffalo up by bench. two. Trying to get his team into it a little bit here. Down 2 nothing. I don't mind that from Evander Kane. Drove to the net. Got a good shot. Went into the scrum. Tried to stir some stuff up. And Jordan Greenway and him having a little bit of a stare down here on the benches. <laughs> I'm in the middle. I don't like my positioning right now. <laughs> well, it's a little of what Carrick tried to do in Columbus a couple of weeks ago. You're, you're just sensing that... Krista, how is it going? Edmonton's got the 15 shots. They need a shift in momentum here. McLeod gaining the line and turning it over to Tage Thompson. Sabres with a 2-0 lead. Moving in is Paterka, who opened the score. Tried to center in Stetcher. Read it beautifully and ends up stealing the puck cleanly. Up the left-hand side, slashed back in by Tuck. Thompson ends up a lot of distance, but Nurse played it well up to Dreisaitl. Pulls up. Loads up. Turn around. Pass across. Edmonton shoots. Another stop there. Penalty against the Sabres. That eludes. Penalty Kula. coming up. And onto the ice comes Connor McDavid. Six on five. Delayed penalty call. And now touched up by Skinner. And we'll have an interference whistled against Buffalo. So Edmonton will finish the period on a power play as Clifton to the box. This has been the best line for Edmonton creating offense. Another beauty pass by Leon Dreisel. I mean, he threads this through right onto the tape of Nugent Hopkins. He has a lot of time to pick his spot. And look at the distance that Lucan covers to get out and cut down that angle. But that draws the call on the play. And It'll be the first power yeah, play guys, let's leave the WTFs the off the comments, please, and thank you. Luke, and it's fourth year in the NHL. Last year was I'm doing well, Krista. the first year where he really got a, you know, a lot of work. He got 17 wins, but his save percentage was south of 900. This year, he's top 10 across the board. There's Bouchard passing it across. Shot that one's going to go wide. Hyman has it, setting up on the power play. Let's see what Edmonton can figure out. Fourth of the league overall. Dry subtle to Bouchard. He'll get it back. Cross ice. No, can't connect. Quick stick there by the Sabres. Bouchard with this. Here's McDavid. McDavid. Back around. To dry settle a shot that was blocked. Nugent Hopkins after it, kept it alive for Bouchard. Bouchard keeping it in. Nugent Hopkins. Now back to Bouchard. Bouchard, Bouchard. Nugent quick Nugent shot Hopkins. side into the slot. One Another shot. shot. They score. Edmonton gets one back. And Leon Drysidle's going to get the power play goal. This one was going to cross the line, but Hyman in front, great job. Again, you take away the eyes, you see Luke in a big guy. Six foot five, 217 pounds, up over top. Luke has to drop down on this spin one-timer. Nice Leon job. Drysidle I mean, Oilers kept bringing it in tight. Drysidle took the initial the shot. Was there just you know, Hyman was digging at this. Hyman was digging at this. In the back of the so net. could this have and gone in foiled, and gone by Hyman? It's a one goal game. I think it's going to go to Dry Seidel initially. Last minute of play, so it's going to go to Dry Seidel. Dry Seidel picking up his 35th. Five on five, the Sabres had scored twice, and now a sloppy turnover. Here's Corey Perry for the tie, and not much on it. As Corey, Corey Perry came back to Poor Corey Perry. Boy, show. how he has slowed and down. With that first goal of the game for Edmonton, Leon Dreisettle's 18th on the power play. Savon Foots has given away 
their first runs. Of course, last Dry Saddle, 43rd of the match. year. Yeah, a little different look here, too, with Dry Saddle. Like, moved From, oh, of course, the all the long names. <laughs> Nugent Hopkins. Then, for McDavid in that one time position. So just a little bit of a different look. That's Nugent Hopkins, 43rd assist. And, it's the quick one -timer. and Bouchard. And Bouchard's 51st assist. Bouchard Love how the Oilers is really moving this puck around. 33 seconds to go. Bouchard's off to Hyman. Barry's just happy to have a job. That's for sure. That is for sure. So Buffalo, the Alex, how's it going? To get up to nothing. Sabres have struggled in the first all year long, but then they give one back. The penalty taken by Clifton. And that's going to do it. The period is going to come to an end. The Zambonis are already on the ice. Sabres will have to settle for a 2 1 lead heading into the break. All right, let's go over to the intermission. All righty, here we go. Intermission time in full effect. The Zambonis are cleaning the ice, which we found this last night. And I got to say, I love it so much. I could literally watch the Zambonis for 16 minutes and be happy about it. All right, the stats in this game. Buffalo, 14 shots. Edmonton, 17 shots. So after a slow start, both teams putting a ton of shots on. 14 hits for Edmonton, 10 for the Sabres. Ed Edmonton with 14 faceoffs, one to six of Buffalo. That's a big number. One for one on the power play, go the Oilers, 0 for one are the Sabres. Uh, one giveaway for the Oilers, two for Buffalo. So nice to see both teams keeping that number down low in the early part of this game. Three takeaways, Buffalo, two for the Oilers, and seven block shots by Buffalo, five for the Oilers. So a lot of block shots coming out early sam enjoys challenges things poor dina has been trying to get him <laughs> i wish prep i wish i had hockey sheets on my bed i still have my star wars pillowcase an original from 1977 i still have it i still have it on a pillow i'm not gonna lie but man if i had hockey sheets oh, that would be amazing if i could only find some for a king for a king bed perfect <laughs> Uh, so I have to leave, taking a daughter, a new granddaughter to appointments early. All right, Mark. Awesome. Hope all is going well. Thank you for hanging out where you can, buddy. Appreciate it. Best wishes to you and the family. Ace, what's going on? Picard better than Skinner. People freak out when I say that. You know what, Ace? That's, you know, Picard's been around. Captain Picard has been around. Skinner is still a young guy. He's developing, but... 30 wins is uh, is pretty darn good. Um, but yeah, he... Uh, <laughs> there you go. Uh, I, it's just... I, You know, Picard for me isn't a... Isn't a number one guy. Right? Picard is not an, a number one guy. Ryan. Ryan. Dude, buddy. You don't need to attack people personally. <laughs> Lee, what's up? Welcome in, Lee. <laughs> Samboni. Lewis, that's great. I love that. I love that. That's wild. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, Chris, don't get me started on the Care Bears, man. I haven't watched the Care Bears in forever. Okay, let's talk some hockey. <laughs> Which Zamboni is going to win? Go, go, go. I have the bottom Zamboni. Let's go. Let's go. All right. You guys are such a distraction. All I want to do is talk hockey. Um, the goal scores, in case you've missed it, JJ Patrika started it off his 22nd from Tuck and Thompson. Olofsson then followed it up getting his 7th from Byron and Rusek. And moments ago, Leon Dreisaitl his 35th of the year from Nugent Hopkins and Bouchard. I believe I took Dreisaitl in my Timmy's picks, so I'm loving that one. Robin, how's it going? Welcome in. Any hope for the Leafs or are they going to get destroyed in the first round? Well, there's hope. There's hope. I mean, they destroyed Washington last night, um, but really it's going to come down to who are they playing? Who is going to be that first round matchup? Um, is it going to be Florida? Is it going to be Boston? These two teams are sure making it real interesting 
down the stretch. I'm glad a different opinion leads to bonding. Listen, I, I, I don't even know, know what to say. <laughs> um, <laughs> you're delusional. Oh, that's really funny. You know, I like Skinner. I like Skinner, but he's young, right? He's 25. He's just kind of getting in there. He's just getting in there to his prime. Like I said, Picard has been around. He's been around the block. Um, I would have a hard time if I'm going deep in the playoffs. If I'm deep in the playoffs, I have a hard time putting all my faith in Picard. Um, I'm just saying. But you never know. Skinner's young, right? He makes he'll make mistakes, but he's he's still darn good. Leaves out first round. They had 145 years to go. <laughs> They're good. I can't wait 100. I don't have 145 more years to go. <laughs> I need to see them win at least in the next 30 <laughs> or less, preferably. Uh, it's 16 shots for the Oilers and 14 shots for the Sabres. Sixteen fourteen. He's sixteen fourteen. Correct. Did I say it backwards? Uh, I say bring a Boston San uh, Alex. I would love nothing more, nothing more than seeing those two go toe to toe in Toronto, knocking it out. That would be great. I love Picard. Just think Skinner is way above. Yeah, listen, I, I'm kind of with you there, Robin. Nothing against Picard, but Skinner as a young goaltender, he's he's really solid. <laughs> Twenty one sixty nine. Oh my gosh, that that's just that's just not right. <laughs> uh, I like Skinner. I just think Picard is better. Is right now is better. Gotcha. Right now, Panthers are in a losing streak. Three, four games. Yeah, Ryan. It happens. Every team goes in a losing streak, but they they will come back with a vengeance. Need a two goalie system. A uh, solid backup that can play. It's important, especially when you're like these teams where you're up against the salary cap. Right? You don't really have money to have you know an eight million dollar goalie um you have to have some very affordable goaltenders and that's what the oilers have and listen the fact that skinner is playing as well as he is um imagine if jack campbell was still here hang on one second what are you eating something smells sorry something stinks <laughs> um I would have more faith. So yeah, imagine if, if Jack Campbell was still here, right? I mean, that was the Oilers guy. They went, they signed him for five million bucks or whatever it was, and he's he's really, really struggling. Um, you know, so it, it's pretty amazing that they're able to pull out what they have with these two games. Oil Collector, how's it going? Welcome in. Oil Collector, you're an Oilers fan. You're an Oilers guy. What do you think, Picard versus, versus Skinner? Are you, are you happy with Skinner, or do you prefer Picard? Where do you stand in this debate? 193 old, years old. Chris, and you'll still look fantastic. <laughs> uh, I forgot about the money. Yeah, I mean, that's you need you need the money. The, the cap is what makes it hard, right? Um, a lot of these teams are in the same position where they have a lot of expensive guys up front and then things get really tight in the back end and you have to try and figure out how to make it happen. <laughs> Thanks, Ace. Appreciate it. Uh, I missed three. That's right. You missed three. Oh, where were those? Oh, the big man on campus. Crack, cracking open a bag of Doritos Cool Ranch, and it's the Cool Ranch we smell. I knew something was a little uh, out there. I missed two goals. Oh, no, <laughs> the, the device, the phone died. You missed the two goals. Got to charge up. Got to charge up. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That's funny. Uh, I haven't been watching... As much PD, the calls are just so bad. I get enough of watching the Leaf games. Margaret, how's it going? I like them both too. Let's go, Oilers. Absolutely. 
Without Cap, I don't even think Edmonton would have a team right now. <laughs> Without it. Um, so, Prep, you know, it's funny you say that. Jeff, what's going on? Skinner all the way. No contest, really. Needs some total team defense. That might help. Jeff, very valid point. We, we've talked about this a lot this season for many teams, I feel. If the defensive guys are going to play individually, you're dead in the water. But when the team comes together and plays together, man, what a difference it makes. Oilers made their bed with Skinner. And I think they're okay with it. it listen, the, he got to develop, right? He's 25. He's just getting into his prime. And he's already, already you know, 30 wins. I don't know if you... Uh, heard this stat that I mentioned off the top let me let me pull up my notes here again so Stuart Skinner coming into today with 30 wins on the season can establish the third most in a single season by an Oilers goaltender at the age of 25 or younger the only other goalies to record at least 30 wins are Grant Fuhr who got 40 and Andy Moog so that company that Skinner's in is pretty darn good for being 25 or younger. I mean, that's that's amazing. I mean, he's going to continue to develop. He's going to continue to get better. Uh, Total Team D helps any goalie if they gave it to Pigarbo. And listen, when we did um, the last Oiler game we did um, previously, uh, was it was the Oilers and the Avs, and I believe it was Picard that was playing, if I'm not mistaken. And that was one of the best games I think I've ever seen. I mean, he was standing on his head. He was outstanding, outstanding. So I got to give it to, to Picard for that game. But um, you got to develop these goalies. You got to play with them. And uh, you got to make sure, you know, you're, get, you're, you're building them for success. You're building them for the future. And it's, it's a hard thing to do. It really is. How many goalies have we seen the Maple Leafs ruin over the years? That they've had in their system and they didn't pray they didn't play them properly they didn't train them properly and things fall apart it's all about how you develop them and how you get them going if that is not enough to be the guy right jeff grant fear is one of your yeah grant fear for me my favorite i mean fear was amazing but when i think of the edmonton oilers back in the day for me it was bill ranford I was obsessed with Bill Ranford. Whenever we'd play ball hockey out on the driveway and you would get stuck in net with those plasticky ball hockey pads, I was always Bill Ranford. The way he just would go down in almost the full splits and rip that glove up with the acrobatic kind of 80s flashy glove save. I mean, that was absolutely spectacular. So Bill Ranford was always my guy as an Oilers goaltender. Although, I mean, <laughs> Grant Fear, I mean, he's... I mean, one of the greatest, right? Who who did you guys, who when you guys were younger, and maybe you do still do it today, but when you would go out and play ball hockey, who did you pretend to be? If you play goal, who is your pick? I remember when I was goalie, like I said, it was Bill Ramford. When I was playing forward, it was either it was always Gretzky. Um, those were the two that I always emulated out on the ball hockey scene. Who uh who did you guys pick? Two of the best goalies of all time. Fear and Joseph. Oh, yeah, Joseph was outstanding. Oil collected with Hashik. Nice pick. The Dominator. Hashik was wild. Just wild. My guy was... Alvino, I don't know that name. Murray Bannerman. <laughs> I feel like that's a movie name. <laughs> <laughs> Who? Which team did he play for? Panthers have two tough teams. New York and Tuesday. Yeah, it's gonna be. It's a tough stretch. Andy Moog, Margaret. Andy Moog was a great pick. Jeff's going with Fuhr. What two goalies started the season with the Leafs both being 19 years old? I don't, Goldberg prep yeah, prep. That's funny. Prep emulated Goldberg. Prep. Did you get tied to a net and have pucks shot at you when you, when you were out on the ball hockey? Uh, Seen, <laughs> I could really relate to Goldberg. <laughs> I'm old, <laughs> Jeff. That's funny. Um, but prep, I you mentioned uh, you mentioned about PWHL earlier. Toronto, I mean Toronto. What are they? Eleven wins in a row, twelve wins in a row now. Toronto's PWHL team absolutely crushing it. Johnny Bauer, Lewis, nice. 
Oh, Belfour. Alex going with Eddie the Eagle. Belfour. Tony Esposito backup. Nice. Oh, my gosh. Sallow. I forgot about Sallow. Wow. That's a name from the past. But, yeah, prep. They PWHL Toronto going well. Yes, the calls are pretty bad. Um, I watched a little bit of a game. Somebody was at, it was New York. Who the heck were they playing? I forget. But it was a person in the crowd shot some footage. And the stands were not busy at all. I mean, Arizona Coyotes were drawing more fans than were at that game. And I, I kind of felt bad. Um, but I, I'd like to see some of the other PWHLs do better uh, in attendance. We know Toronto, Montreal, Ottawa, those franchises are doing great. You got to make sure that the other franchises are doing well also. I'm a stranger here. What's going on? Alan Bester and Ken Reggett. Oh, my gosh. Yes. They were the best duo back in the day. Alan Bester and Ken Reggett. I actually met Ken Reggett at a card show way back when. He was super, super nice. Andrew, what's going on? Welcome in. Game has been pretty decent so far. Buffalo with a 2-1 lead over the Oils. Uh, don't forget Wah, of course. Wah, Wah was... Wah was wah. He was just uh he was just amazing. Nah, no need to be sorry. It's all good. Richard, what's going on? Welcome in. Never seen a bannerman in Chicago mask. I have to look up this bannerman guy now. Because <laughs> I feel like I should know who this is. Young Connor Hellebuck. Oh, Con uh, Connor Hellebuck is I mean, Connor Hellebuck could easily be one of the best goalies in the game today. Um, he really, really, really is good. Like Connor Hellebuck is that good. I mean, he's the reason, well, I don't want to say the reason he's one of the reasons why Winnipeg is playing as well as they are. I mean, Hellebuck is spectacular. <laughs> Ace, you are pulling these names out of the blue. Ron Tugnut. Oh my goodness. I haven't heard that name in forever. Ron Tugnut, red light Rassico. Oh my goodness. Did you like Google? <laughs> Give me the names that Sam hasn't heard of in forever. It's hysterical. Felix Potvin as well. The cat Potvin was great. Um, let me tell you, I was at uh, I was at the NHL award dinner and uh, awards presentation and dinner way 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 back when, and um, Felix Potvin was there, and he was such a nice guy, um, so chill, just super cool. I mean, I was really, really pumped to know that he was a good dude. Lundquist, of course. Lundquist was good. Um, like King Henrik was, was amazing. Got to play a game with Brian Miller in December. Not at home. That's awesome. Ryan Miller. He was good, too. Unfortunately, you know, he he played on some tough teams. Had a tough go. But... Uh, would I like to see Rye Miller get a little bit more success? All right. The time has expired. Intermission is done. They're getting back on the ice, ready to go. If you're just coming in, welcome. You're in time for the second period. Let's hop over to the other screen and kind of get things ready to go. Here we go. The Oilers looking to pick things up where they left off. They had all the pressure at the end of that second period. They were able to tie it up. Will they continue to get this going? So welcome in. Thanks for being here. Bauer was nicknamed China. Well, back in the day, I remember that. Well, not from being there back in the day, but I remember hearing about that. Darren Pang Panger, yeah. He's a good analyst now. <laughs> Ron Hextall. Heck, when you came in on Hextall, you had to be careful because he'd come out and just take it down. He would just absolutely take things down. All right, here we go. Let's bring this up. Time for the next period. Period number two. We're about to throw down the dry side line coming out to kick this one off. Trailmaker, what's going on? Great name and great emoji. Great little graphic. Love that. Period two. Fire it up. The dry side just like that. It's going to get waved out. Hey, you know what? Rocky four. Here comes McLeod. He's going to lose that draw. He's not a machine. He's a man. <laughs> All right. I love Tony. 
He was good as Apollo's manager, and he found a new level. Yeah. Well, he was sitting in that sled. You remember Rocky lifting that huge thing? Him and Adrian. And Thank you for hitting those subscribes, by the way. If you're just coming in, hit that like button for us. We're on the way to 75 likes. A check. And, then and make sure you do subscribe. Pocketed by Zach Benson, the diminutive 18-year-old, and Jordan Greenway. Thank you, Jeff. I appreciate Buffalo. it. We're it's here to have fun and bring you the best coverage that we can. That the Sabres have led after now, while there's a stoppage in play, I know a lot of new folks Saturday, coming in. By the way, if you're in here so chatting along with us, you're earning jam, points not, just not by hanging out. Who doesn't league? like points? Well, you can check your points at any time by doing exclamation mark points in the chat just like that, and it'll tell you how many points you have earned. It's typically the other team that's coming at you a little stronger. And there's a poor play by Dalene, but Hyman is back checked by Alex Duff. I think the thing is, though, the Sabres have got to shake themselves of that hat because last year they finished strong, but, you know, it's one thing to go 9-1 and one when you're kind of out of it already. It's another thing to do it when you absolutely have to Hulkster flexing his muscles here. He said he would break it down in an individual game. You to start out better to give yourself a chance. Sabres still learning on the fly here. Here's Bouchard. They're going to tie this game, stolen away by Tuck. Sabres are 13-1-1 this year when they do have the lead after the opening 20. Colleen has sent it in deep. One of the reasons for that is Lukanen's approved play, but another is the fact that, like Edmonton, Buffalo's a strong third period clock. Bouchard operating behind his own net. A dark to Adam Henry. Region Hopkins picked it up. And then rattled off his stick and sailed Oilers with this, wrapping it around, Rose getting things set up. <laughs> Ryan, I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> that led to the dry subtle power play goal, but has Edmonton on the board. CC takes the bump. Oilers picking up the loose puck, going to play it across. Here they come. Down the left side of the ice. Oilers coming in. Oh, Turk Rota was good. Yes, indeed. Nugent Hopkins, Nugent four Hopkins. points in his last nine right, games, loose, 11 right points side. in his previous nine. Support with Andrew, I'm doing fantastic, thank you. Hope you're doing well. Touch for Krebs, and it's this is going to be an icing Buffalo. call. So this is going to come all the way back down into the Buffalo zone. As the Oilers is a proud partner starting to get skating. We saw this in the first period. The when the Oilers, Oilers got skating, the Oilers performed well. When they slowed things down, they couldn't get their well, we speed the going. They ran into Vendor trouble. In the first period of the end, he takes a healthy oh. run at Paterka. Boom. I mean, those are the hits that we just haven't seen a lot of lately from Evander Kane. When he's running around like that, he makes everybody in the opposition hear footsteps, and that's always a good thing on the forecheck. Darnell Nurse across. Troy Stetcher, that one took a weird hop on dry center. JJ Paterka like dry center. German. German film crew working on a feature with Leon Dry over the course of this week in Edmonton. They'll follow the club on its trip out east. And get a look at that. Buffalo brought it out. The Oilers hammered right back Edmonton, in. Ottawa. Clifton. He's going to play this around. Sabres down the left Edmonton's side of the ice. Gonna Eastern play Sweden. this one in. Hang on one second. I'll be right back. Realize Greenway was there. He tried to put it out of the slot for Cousins, knocked away from him, and Zach Hyman able to clean it up. Throws his way down low. Cousins able to take over for Buffalo. Nudge in the head for the activating Owen Power. Second year pro out of the University of Michigan. Now Greenway, the first player ever. To play in the Olympics, the NCAA postseason tournament, and the Stanley Cup playoffs in the same year. <laughs> right to the feet. <laughs> That's unbelievable. Oh, That's a good hit, too. Hit on Cousins. That's a guy who's played Edmonton in past Buffalo matchups. You saw that graphic. The Sabres have won nine of the last 13 between these two clubs, including, including four of six here at Rogers Place. Nugent Hopkins charges in from the right-hand side. Fell down and flipped it down low. Echo gives it up for Corey Perry. Adam Henrique with Nugent Hopkins there. What a save! Luke in tremendous with a right pad. And robbing Nugent Hopkins, who's been a little statement lately. And he's had a couple looks. 
Made a beautiful pass on the goal by Nurse late. Here's the big hit by Darnell Nurse taking a look as he steps up. Boom, just getting that position and Cousins kind of gets a little two-steppy there before getting knocked down. This is a beautiful pass by Henrique and you know this tandem starting to fall. All right, sorry about that. Just had to take care of something real quick. Move around the offensive zone. Well, that's a beautiful pass. Welcome in everyone. Great job with those likes. Keep Keeping going. Offense. Hit those Put thumbs up. Go in. Nice little save there. Luke in the seventh, second round pick of the Sabres in 2017. The Ontario Hockey League goalie of the year. All star down in the ECHL, so he's going to just build his career block by block. And now at you know what's coming up? Here come the Oilers. The on McDavid the move, two on one. Two on one. Ekholm oh, leading it in. Stop, drop, shoots, he scores. The freight train, Ekholm, is going to drive that one home. Down low. It's aggressive pursuit by Hyman on the Great wall. shot, nice little Boom. play. The right here. There's the aggressive play on Dali. He doesn't play it soundly. A Bouchard, one out left pass to McDavid. And then Ekholm activated. Ekholm bringing it all the way. Stopped up, a little change of direction. And he actually made a nice play. Byram goes down on one knee. And instead of trying to drag it around him to the right, he actually went back left, taking the shot. Nice little move by Back home. John, what's going on? Leafs should have grabbed Henrik. I'll be honest, I'm not a huge fan of Henrik. PWA, what's going on? Go Oilers, go. It's all tied up at twos. As he charged in right off the draw left wing and draws a hook. We have a penalty coming up right here. The Edmonton Oilers, Cody Cece. Cece going to go to the box. with a nice play just to chop this puck forward. Oh, they're going to give them both one here. Oh, they're both like going. Potentially on Paterka. Maybe not. No, oh, no, no I think Paterka's the out of the box. Yeah, I'm not sure what's <laughs> going on there, but he said he kind of pointed at me. Rasmus Dahl, yeah, going to say he didn't says, go hey, down. What are you how doing? How did he embellish? He didn't go down. But okay, no question. A little bit of a can opener by CC is. Paterka just kind of jabbed it through, got Ekholm a speed move, and he drew that of the season. You see Darlene, he goes, hey, JJ, Edmonton <laughs> doesn't need more help. By the way, you didn't have Where's a penalty on the power play. Gulaps. Lost the hand. Adam Henry. And Ryan Nugent Hopkins out there with Kulak and Nurse. He's just charging in with a wrist shot that's stuck by Skinner. And number two, Evan Yes, Alex, the the feed, because of the delay of the feed, it's a little behind the scoreboard. Nothing nothing I can do about that, We have to live with the technology we have, my friend. So with that, McDavid gets his 83rd assist on the season. Bouchard, 52nd. For Edmonton tonight at the expense of Derek Ryan. A one timer. Patel can partially blocked and then healed wide by Thompson on a setup from top. Yes, there's about a 20 to 30 second delay between what we see statistical wise, statistic wise on the screen versus the feed that I'm watching. So, a little bit of a delay. That popped off the plexi and ultimately out of play. Paterka. And Echo came together, 47 seconds left in the minor to CC. Paige Thompson, a little frustrated with himself, had a great chance in front of the net. This is a more assertive Unfortunately, than we saw in the first period. That's for Buffalo. technology. Around, looking to shoot the puck, <laughs> looking to have traffic. It started with the tuck entry. This little backhand pass by Tuck had eyes. It was a great defensive play by Bouchard. Or else this is an easy one-timer in the net. For Thompson, that wrister through traffic had eyes as well. Just a singer by Darlene. We've seen his slap shot. We've seen his wrist shot twice. One taken back in the first period on an offside call. And that one was a laser. Skinner directing traffic off the draw. Clears Buffalo back to Byron. working this one around. And now Jeff Skinner trying to come through. Double teamed on the half boards. Byron came over, wrestled it free. Tried to center and a good read by Adam. Coming Henry. around this one all the way down, down the end. the left-hand side. Henrique and Sam Carrick both killed a lot of penalties. Here comes Buffalo. Buffalo playing his back up across the middle. Jeff Skinner. <laughs> From the moon. The That's right. Now Owen Powell gives it up. Trying to come Dylan through. Cousins. Buffalo cycling around Curls back to the back line. To 
setting it up, coming no across, shot, shot. that one goes fly. just wide. Skinner on its way by. Trying to play it through. And this one gonna come down the ice, here comes Edmonton. Edmonton picking it up, dropping it off, putting it through the front, shot going just wide. Coming around in front, that one doesn't go through. Jeff, a whole lot of testing is all I can tell you. <laughs> a whole lot of testing. Testing and reading. As Edmonton, an opportunity to seize the lead here. Edmonton coming out on the side, jam play, can't put that one in. Normally you'd see Hyman, McDavid, and Drysaddle right off the draw here. But Fogel and McLeod, so effective five on five. Now, late coming comes McDavid and Drysaddle to join Hyman. And Buffalo still has not cleared the puck. Cousins had an opportunity to and just got it over the line. Carried back in by Hyman against Cousins. Byron came over to deflect for power. Turn around and through. Bouchard. Matias Eckholm. Eckholm coming across with a one timer. Oh, he'd like another oh. shot at that. Hyman to McDavid. Buffalo hanging on here. McDavid sends Coming around, side of the net. Taking a look, top. taking a look. Eckholm. Here's a one timer. Bouchard. It hits the side. And they can't stuff it in. Well, you know what? Let's get a one. virtual wave going. Well, we haven't done a virtual wave Pittsburgh yet today. All you have to do is find your hand emojis, put them in the air, and three, two, one, raise them up. Put those hands up. Let's get the wave going. Get them up. Get them up. This one coming around and out. Edmonton on the move. Over to McDavid. Dry saddle stretches the leg, doesn't go offside. And a breakup. Executed by Rasmus Dahlin. Dan's getting his wave Dreisler on. Tried to tuck it back in. Negate it. Bouchard Jeff's getting the hand up. Now McDavid will change reluctantly. As Perry comes in on the four check. 2-2 Two -two our score. Approaching the midway point of the game. Shot by Kulak. And that redirected right There we go. Now Stern the hands are coming up. Losing a stick was Russo. Who picked up his third NHL point. In the first period. Oiler Old moving this one around. Going to be down low in the in corner. Ten-man career. Olofsson. Backhands and again. Sloppy. Failed clear by Buffalo. Ryan, Corey this Perry. is uh, All-Star Game. All-Star Game Oilers. Connor McDavid. We're rocking that one tonight. Up the right-hand side, Olofsson. Starting to get their feet moving. Starting to get a little urgent. That's shit by Zach Quick Hyman. shot. That one's going to go just wide of the net. Outstanding. Here comes just Edmund. Relentless work down Ten and a half corners. minutes to go. In the offensive zone, in the or about nine the minutes to go. Tough to get off the ice Depending on where you're watching. Shift. I agree. Buffalo fortune not to be behind. Back right down low. Sabre's going to play it around. Up the right-hand side. Thompson for Alex Tuck. Tuck bringing this one in, setting it up. Look out, here comes Buffalo. Shot, nice save, Skinner. There's another shot and another save by Skinner. Skinner looking sharp. We're going to knock this one down. Uh, Andrew, usually only when my eyes are tired. Here's Connor Brown. Weaving his way through the neutral zone. In the corner, digging at it, trying to pull this one free. We're in the Bryson. Buffalo end. Sabres the coming Thompson. away with it. Going to flip this up to Thompson. We'll Big age Thompson. Thompson. They're going to tip this one in. Oilers back to grab it, set it up. Matias Eckholm up the middle. That's deflected high in the air, bouncing. This one going to drop down, trying to come through. Taking a look around, and this is going to play all the way out. Right at the Sabres blue line. And here we go. I think the cloud thought that was offside. That's why he didn't play it. Here's Byron weaving his way in. Bowen Byron coming in, trips up. Don't know where he's in. It's all good. Darren, welcome in. Here comes Edmonton. Dry side is coming in with that home. Can't feed him the pass. Can't get it across. Hunting down a potential second goal of the game. Good job by Byron. I mean, Dry side. Oilers turning this one around. Trying to get through. Next up, two X Leafs in the last night. Lafferty and McHale. John, I am big fans of both of them. With a shot, Bouchard. Setting up Fogel. They can't connect. 
Luke Lafferty, I'm so side. mad yeah, we Luke couldn't keep him in Toronto. Stay with McKeev. McKeev had so yeah, much potential. Great just had a tough, a tough, tough start to his career. Wheels and Playing this one all the way back down the behind the Oiler net. Here in period two. It was a hot pass from Bouchard. Bouchard down setting down things up. He's ready to rock. Lukanen was able to read that and get out there and really cut down the angle. Bouchard, no hurry here. Kind of a Taking a long look. A lot of time right they were now. waiting behind. Rogers plays sold out as now they're on the move. Now they're the flying. 21, 4, and 2 on home ice under Chris Nabla. Here's Zach Benson in over the line. Drop pass for Cousins. Rich shot fought off by Skinner. Up here to Clavicle. And Skinner feels and like that blow mass this might one have been down. Strap came off, perhaps? Yeah, yes, loose. indeed. Yeah. So we're going to have a timeout on the ice. Skinner, the flow exposed on Sportsnet. Where Commercial coming up. It's 2-2. Here in the second period, we're more than halfway through this game. No, Hyman did not get credit for. I, you know, I kind of thought he was there. He was digging at it, right? He was really digging at it. I thought Hyman as well, Darren, got a piece. But they say no, it stays as Dreisaitl's goal right now. Now, that may, you know, I can't imagine at this point they would change it. They've probably looked at it a ton. But, uh, yeah, it's going to stay with, with Dreisaitl. But what a season Zach Hyman is having. Holy cow. He, potentially, he could have 50 goals this year. I mean, wouldn't that be something? If you told me, if you would have said back in the day when Toronto was trying to debate who they keep, Zach Hyman or, uh, or Connor Brown, if you said, well, Zach Hyman's going to have 40 to 50 goals, I would have told you you're nuts. I thought at most he'd be a kind of a 20 to 30 goal scorer, 30, you know, being a rarity. But boy, oh boy. Yeah, you know what? I'm, I don't think... I mean, Toronto, whether they play Florida, whether they play Boston, they know they are going to really be in tough. And they're going to have to come out and play tough. Yes, Toronto lost twice in very close proximity to Boston. But they got really tough with them. And I, I think, you know, I think they showed they can hang with the physicality that Boston brings. So it will be very interesting to see what they do. If you're enjoying the content and you're enjoying hanging out with us here on the channel, do make sure you subscribe. We'd love for you to come back and hang out with us for more Oiler games, Leaf games, Panther games, all of our hockey broadcasts as well. Consider becoming a channel member or joining our Patreon. We just started that and are getting that one going as well. So thanks for all the support tonight. Thanks for hanging out with us. Let's see how the Oilers can take this one home. Skinner hugging that near post. Got Skinner playing back. real, real He's well. He's trying to thread that out to Thompson once again. Paterka, as we talked about, elevated up to this line with Thompson and Tuck, and he's had a real nice performance. Maybe a little extra motivation. The yeah, German that's probably a very valid point. Probably a valid point if you take those guys out of the equation. He's probably not as dominant. He's been certainly the recipient of some great passing. Skinner not leaving that post. Preserving the two two Bouchard with it, bringing it around behind his Bouchard. neck, can't get it out. Buffalo giving him a hard time in here. Skinner 5 0 and 2 with a 179 okay, goals against and a 9 4 on save percentage over his last seven starts. Those are pretty darn good numbers. Buffalo bringing it right back in. Trying to set things up, can't get it down to Thompson. Looking for Thompson and again Bouchard with a proper defensive. Back to position. the line, cross ice pass, no shot. Owen Power. Power and bobbles it. It's a race for it. Zach Hyman pushed it too far Pulls ahead, couldn't feet. catch up to it. Floats one up the middle. It's coming all the way and down the ice. Thank you for hitting down. that subscribe. Now McDavid. Much appreciation. David Thank you, James. Kulak for a shot. That rocketed up and out of play off the stick of Victor Olofsson. 6.41 to go, second They're going to go for another commercial one. break. They just came back from commercial break. Saskatchewan.
Saskatchewan is one of those places I really want to go see. At least drive across it <laughs> or through it. Um, I have not had the chance to get out and see a whole lot of Canada. Seen Ontario. I've seen a little bit of Quebec. I want to get out east. I want to head out west. Lots to do. It's pretty cool. Yeah, I'd like to see it. I, one day I'd, I'd like to do the train from Toronto to uh, Vancouver. I know it takes about a week or so. Um, but I think that would be real cool. See a lot of the country going through. One day, one day we'll get around to it. But here we got a great game in action. 2-2 two -two Oilers and the Buffalo Sabres. These guys are really playing. Uh, Edmonton got that jump. They got back. But Buffalo has kind of bring it back to them. They're kind of slowing it down right now. Shots are pretty much dead equal. Oilers have the lead in the faceoff percentage. Oilers have the lead in hits. Sabres have the lead in block shots. Takeaways are pretty even. Giveaways are pretty even. So all in all, it's an even game, which is why the score is 2-2. Two -two, but we're seeing some pretty, pretty nice goaltending. Um, you know, Skinner's playing well, but Lukanen has been absolutely incredible. He is the reason why the Oilers only have two goals tonight. They have been firing shots at him. And he has been absolutely incredible tonight. So Lukanen, already, he's he's getting a star. Regardless of what this score ends up, he's getting a star from me tonight. Vaughn, what's going on? Welcome in. Enjoy the rest of the game. Great show. Thank you, Vaughn. Go Oilers. Let's see. Let's see. Can the Oilers continue to put the puck in the net? Here they go. Let's bring it on back. That was a great experience heading over to Cologne. Cody CC off to Leon Dryson. Backhands it over. CC tried to hit full line. I think that missed him. That's an icing That's against Edmonton with 626 to go. I thought it was offside, but Second nice period. and called. It's going to come back. It was the first player from Get Europe the bench. to play for the Leafs. Oh, my gosh. The I have no idea. In I'm a stranger here. It's late on the East Coast. You're going to make me think? <laughs> I'm, well, I actually next up have no for idea. Edmonton, Hockey Night in Canada, Connor McDavid, the Edmonton Oilers, Austin Matthews, the Toronto Maple My gut Leafs. would say Salming, but I think That's it's Saturday, even earlier. Saturday, 30 on Sportsnet and CBC. Our colleagues, Chris Cuthbert, Craig Simpson, on that from one for you. What you do know the year? Yeah, do you have the year? Tilt. I'd Between be curious what year that two was from. teams with major stars having, again, major seasons. Paterka. Loading Weaver's up, shooting up. Off shots the gonna sail wide. That, that one's gonna play. hit the mesh. Six minutes to go in the second. Shot split evenly. Twenty across. Yeah, imagine the board. that Louis. was my guess. That's kind of where I was going. Dennis and Mary making the charge down south to see yeah. their beloved son. Looking forward to it. Seeing mom and dad. It's always special going back to Ontario. Obviously, I was born there, but for a lot of players and personnel, going back to Ontario for the the one and only trip through the province. Did you, uh, do you remember your first game? Lee, in Maple what's Leaf going Gardens? on? Welcome in. Absolutely. 2-2. Two -two. Good game here. But you weren't a Leafs fan growing up. Not oh, as good as the Avs oh, game, but no. pretty <laughs> darn Gee, I wonder good. why. Here's Jordan Greenway. There's a shot. Yeah, There's another shot stop by Skinner. Going to go up into the crowd. So I guess I kind of was a Leafs Jeff, fan. Jeff, I'm from just right. outside of the Toronto area. Kind of in between. So I'm you in and around the Toronto area. 73. Okay, gotcha. What was that? Didn't you work some camps with Wendell Clark did, when you yeah. were young? A yep. little yep. earlier yeah. than going I was thinking. Going into junior, so obviously. Alberta uh, Mountains are beautiful. Him yeah, the way he played the game. I mean, he was love a to check them out. Love to see Score them. Score goals, knock you out in the same shift. Louie was that fortunate guy. He looked like he was 25. Here comes Edmonton down the right side. Going to bring this one in. Looking to set things up. Buffalo cutting them off right away, breaking up this play. Zach Benson wrapped up in the corner. Nugent Hopkins guides Nurse, back to Darnell. He's going to kind of turn around. Drags nice little move there by Nurse. Nurse, Nurse cutting over the shot. Oh, that one's going to go just wide. Nugent Hopkins picking up the spot. He dropped to find that shot by Nurse because yeah. there was a screen in front. I believe it was Perry. Oh, Starry. Nurse with a bad pinch. Jordan Greenway. From the cross, here comes Buffalo with a shot. Skinner with the save, bails him out. Rebound there. Yeah, with Nurse. Nurse is 
You know, hang on, here he comes back the other way, dropping it back. And that's going to be broken up by Joe. Nurse is kind of one of those where it's hit and miss. Sometimes he makes really good decisions, and other times it's, you're kind of gritting your teeth. Like, what are you doing? Brown with this now in the corner, feeding it back to the line. Here's Atcomb. He's going to drop it back. Going around behind the net. Edmonton working it around the perimeter. This, center pass broken this one up is going to be thrown out. Bouchard, he's got to race back. Hardy. Skinner out to chip it over Skinner to Bouchard, but he's in his feet. Now Bouchard gets it and plays the side. Ekholm, cross ice pass. Here comes Edmonton with four, breaking in. Ekholm with the shot. Deflected. That one's just thrown aside. Buffalo back the other way. We know what's coming. A drive by Byron. Did not make its way through, and now Bouchard has Connor Brown. Byron pursues. Brown going to be facing two of his former teams on the upcoming trip. CC did well to hold his own. Vander Kane tried to put it down low, but Darlene knocked that astray and gets it back from Byron. Pass was Darlene. Wrist shot, saves Skinner. Rebound thrown around to Jeff Skinner. Little spin move. Buffalo has beaten Edmonton four times in extra time over the last few years, including that. Wow, this is win. really brutal. 12 days ago, Clifton might be heading that way again. Another tight game. Edmonton had played the fewest one goal games until about three weeks ago, but the six of the last 10 Oiler tilts have been decided by one goal. Cody Cece. Under pressure against Paterka. The good news is Edmonton's 13 and 7 in those games. Clifton centers. Shot score! And it's a bit of a change. Of yeah, that was a softy, Daniel. That was a very, very well, this softy. This game started to open up here in the last very two or three minutes. Yikes. End to end and some chances. High Curtis, what's up? Yeah, I kind of want to reboot this and feed, this but here, I'm afraid if I do, I won't get it back. You're see a nice little pitch <laughs> down the wall. Excuse me. Sabres. Which keeps it very, alive. very soft one. A broken play. And it's a beautiful pass Clifton afterwards. puts it in, and this Clifton's shot, oh my God. Down the wall, it was like slow motion the just going in. Paterka, then on the shot, first Skinner the kicked the right that leg out, and it just slowly trickles underneath it. Right. A little bit My of a fan, goodness. A little bit of a change up, and it finds its way home. 3 2 Buffalo. That is, that's CC a bad goal. You can't give that up. Fool Skinner there. I honestly do. It took the pace off that shot. Here's what's happening. And that was flashed in high by Pistol firing down the slot. Now Dreisaitl has it back, dishing off. McLeod in the middle of that gym. That was stopped by Lukanen. And a tough save from the slot. Clifton to Paterka. That was for not the good. Second of the game. Third time he's done that in his career. And Paterka, who had two in the previous 18 games, has two tonight. That's very true, Jeff. Very valid. And very Buffalo valid. Leads three, two. This will be icing against Stetcher with 2.20 to the play in the Sabres period. The Sabres coming up with another weak goal. Dive into your next Listen, adventure. they're doing the right things. The Sabres making the right moves. They're able to put it in. But Skinner's got to stop that. That was just ugly. Just ugly. My goodness. Skinner preparing for a face-off to his right. Edmonton on the verge of taking the lead. Lucan in several quality stops. Likewise, Skinner. And a bit of a change-up from Paterka. Snakes its way home. Rusick to the point. Owen Byron. And Vogel did well to force just to send in. That's going to be played by Stetcher. Rapidly cleared to center as we go inside <laughs> two minutes. Oh, uh, Tavares, to but uh, we only got one more year period. left on that. I think Nurse has signed up for Edmonton several. Edmonton the third two weeks ago. Here's a shot off the rush. Bidding for his second of the night. Olsen missed the net. Corey Perry streaking down the right hand Big side. Big hit there. He was hip checked against the boards. Stayed with it. Corey Perry taking down in the corner. Up in the corner. Four players digging hard. 
I'll try at, at intermission. I'll see if I can reboot the feed. Lynn, how's it going? Welcome in. I usually just watch the Leafs album. I'm going to listen. I like crochet. I hope everyone's having a great night. Thank you, Lynn. I hope you're having a great night as well. What, uh, what are you crocheting? What's on the agenda? If you want to share it. Shot is going to hit and go up and out of play. Or was it Nugent Hopkins? Might have went off. Yeah, Nugent Hopkins. One minute, five seconds to go. Another commercial break. How many commercial breaks? Holy moly. So many. Whatever the answer is going to have either the Oilers or Maple Leaf fans hating me, Chris. <laughs> That's true. That's true, Chris. You got you to gotta watch your answers. Um, welcome in. If you're brand new, you're just coming in and tuning in for the first time tonight. Thank you for joining us. We appreciate it. We're having a great time. A lot of fun tonight watching these two teams go toe to toe. Gerard, what's going on? Welcome in. Um, if this is your first time here, welcome. Make sure you do hit that like button. Hit that thumbs up. We're 25 away from 100. And I just noticed when I looked at the uh, subscriber count, we're 24 subscribers away from 11,500, which is absolutely amazing. So if you haven't subscribed, consider it. Help us out. Just like Lynn, thank you so much. Uh, it, this is the best hockey community, hands down. Uh, thank you all so much for supporting us. I hope you have a fun time. I know we certainly do. So welcome in. Thanks, Chris. Hello. Goodbye. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, we're going to six by six blank. Oh, nice. Called Sophie's Universe. Lynn, that's awesome. Very cool. Murph, what's going on? Go Buffalo. Go. I got to tell you, a lot of Buffalo fans kind of catching me off guard. All right. They're coming back from commercial break. Here, here we go. Great job by Clifton. He beats Hyman back to the wall. Keeps this play alive or else it's out of the zone. And this shot, you're going to see the stick of CeCe connect with the stick of Paterka as he's taking the shot. Stuart Skinner thinks it's going one way. It goes that another. A little bit of a change from McKayev and Lindholm. There you go. You break your chances. McKayev getting on in that on that mix. Play down the wall by Thank you for hitting those subscribes. And he finds Paterka with his second. You see it. Skip extending that right pad. And I think the pass across the coming down low. And it ends up going five hole on. Oh, here's a failed clear and a bad one. Giving Edmonton a second look and a shot. shot. And they score. Tell me this was Zach Hyman again. Tell me. Tell me. Zachy boy, he puts it in. The Hymenator. Down for his efforts, but he was right in the mix, and you're right. It's a turnover in the zone that creates this quick chance right here. A little flop out of the zone doesn't go. Bye. Still waiting for the new card draw. One day I'm a stranger. One day. Definitely catches maybe the stick. They're gonna take a look at this to see if it did go off the hand. Buffalo's considering a challenge here. Uh oh, Buff. Let's see. I got. To look closely here i can't tell the way his stick and positioning was from the overhead camera it looks like it's stick so they're saying did it hit that hand show us another angle it's hard because he's got the stick pointed straight ahead so the camera angle they showed you couldn't really tell where it went it looks like it's a good goal no it's gonna count well, you know what? There's the there's the luck changer for Zach. There it is. They're letting it go. Season he's having. And you, and it, you know what? This 100 percent right hits off his hand. This new, hits off his hand 100 percent. I don't have my stick here, but he's holding the stick like this, and the puck comes, and it actually tips off the thumb of his hand. I can't believe they let that go. Zach Kleiman gets away with one, and again at the end of the period. Zach Hyman puts this one in to tie it up. His 47th goal. Unbelievable. We'll update that on our ticker after the intermission. 
And it looks like the delay isn't as bad right now. So maybe I'll I'll leave it as is. I don't want to tempt fate by restarting it. That's going to do it. The clock is going to go. Period has come to an end. Zach Hyman putting it in. Wow. That is absolutely incredible. Let's go back to the intermission. Round two of the Zambonis. That's right, round two of the Zambonis. All righty, uh, I didn't put that up enough. Let's let's talk some hockey. Here we go. Oh, that's too high. Let's fix this. There we go. All right, shots on net even, twenty four a piece. That was pretty good. 26 hits for the Oilers, 21 for the Sabres, 23 faceoffs won, so the Oilers still in the lead there, 15 for the Sabres. Uh, one for one, the Oilers on that power play, 0 for 2 the Sabres are. Seven giveaways, five for the Sabres. This number is up from period number one, so a lot of giveaways here for the Oilers. Each team with six takeaways and each team with 12 blocked shots. And it looks like we got... Was there some penalties called there at the end of the period? Did I miss that? I'm not sure why it's saying four on four because that must be a glitch. We've noticed with these scoreboards over the last couple of days, there were a, bu a bunch of weird things transpiring and taking place. But you can tell it says four on four, but the Oilers power play for 142. And 143, it's intermission, so clearly there's an issue with the scoreboard. So we will just pay no attention to that. Your goal scorers in the second period, Matthias Ekholm picking up his six from McDavid and Bouchard. Paterka, his 23rd and second of the game from Clifton. And Zach Hyman, his 47th from Ekholm and McDavid. They're neck and neck. <laughs> the more exciting track than NASCAR. I'm waiting for one of them to spin out. <laughs> Which Zamboni will spin out? This is the greatest find in YouTube history right now. Find, finding this widget with the Zambonis is top notch. Nothing beats it. Nobody wants to watch a rocket taking off or landing on the moon or going to Mars. Nobody wants to watch that. We want to watch the Zambonis go round and round and round. <laughs> Oh, it's amazing. Um, this is the second meeting between these two teams. They played back on March 9th, so long ago. March 9th, Buffalo took that one 3-2. to two. <laughs> Possessed by Beetlejuice. He, no kidding. You know what? And it's very fitting on the eve that Ghostbusters Afterlife, not Afterlife, Frozen Empire, Ghostbusters Frozen Empire set to come out tomorrow. The ghosts are messing with our scoreboards. I cannot wait for that movie. It's going to be so good. Gordon, what's up? Hope the Sabres win. I'm surprised. I am so surprised the amount of people in here tonight that are coming in wanting the Sabres to win. I'm I'm absolutely shocked. Did not expect that to be the case. Uh, Zach Hyman, 47. 47 goals for him, which is absolutely crazy. Crazy? Like, What? Didn't the Beetlejuice... Oh, did it? I haven't seen it. I saw an interview with Michael Keaton who had lots of real good things to say. Again, Zadaroff's second, John, from Mikheyev and Lafferty. There you go. See? They're getting in on the mix. But yeah, I'm, I'm super pumped for, for Beetlejuice and this new Ghostbusters. I think they're both going to be awesome. James, what's going on? Oilers easy dub. I hope so. They're not making it look easy. I'll tell you that much. Uh, this, this has been a, a pretty fun game. They've been playing really well. Uh, with all these games completing earlier tonight, let's uh, let's go around the league and update you on <clears throat> all the scores. You can see a lot of them across the top here. <clears throat> 
Games completed 4-1. The Devils hang on to defeat the Jets. The Blues take a 5-2 win over the Senators. Rangers, same score, 5-2 over those Boston Bruins. The Red Wings hang on 6-3 over the Islanders. The Hurricanes, 3-2 in overtime over the Flyers. And I hate to say it, the Predators, 3-0 over the Florida Panthers. They need a crossover movie, Beetlejuice Busters. That would be funny. Um, right now, the Canucks 2-0 lead over the Montreal Canadiens. Chicago and Anaheim 0-0. That one just at the end of the first period. The Kraken and Golden Knights 0-0 uh, midway through the first, well, five minutes in. And Lightning Sharks, they are tied at ones. About 12 minutes left to go in the first period there. So with a lot of these games going on, there's a lot of standing implications that we could see coming out of it. Excuse me. Uh, what's the score? My screen is frozen, but I can hear. 2-2. Uh, 2-2 two, two. Two, two is the score. We are. Oh, no, it's not. What am I saying? 3-3 three, three is the score. 3-3 three, three is the official score. This scoreboard is possessed. Um, <laughs> it's. I don't know what is going on. Hopefully they get this fixed up. But yeah, 3-3 three, three is the actual score. There we go. So let's just give it a little reboot. Gotta lock out the ghosts. Domi can play center as well. Cheaper is more points. Hey, listen, I like Domi. Oh, Hayden asking the question, who'd you rather keep for two's your Domi? Right now, I don't... What Domi is doing is spectacular. Um, I love him playing with Matthews. Really, really good. Beetlejuice is at it again, right, Chris? He's he's messing around with us. <clears throat> but as I was saying, playoff implications with these games being played, the Detroit Red Wings, with the win tonight, puts them up to 78 points. Uh, three up on the Washington Capitals. The Capitals trying to get into that last playoff spot. The New York Islanders at 73 points still have a chance but they have been on a losing stretch and they are falling further and further back. The Sabres at 71 points, probably not going to happen for them this year. Detroit has been really red hot and they are hanging on there. Tampa Bay with 80 points. They're racing to try and catch Toronto, uh, who's sitting at 87 points. The Western Conference is where things get real interesting. Um, wait a second. Beetlejuice on Broadway? That would that really? Oh my gosh! I can only imagine. <clears throat> Any team I need to see in Bellows on Marley's two PT. Lee, I'd love that. I I I really like Kiefer Bellows. I think yeah, Kiefer Bellows has a bright future. <clears throat> he just needs the right coaching. He needs to be developed properly. He's got a ton of skill. Uh, the West Coast. All three teams in the Central Division are tied at ninety three points. Winnipeg, Colorado, and Dallas. So it is going to be very interesting what that playoff picture could look like. Right now, it's set to be Colorado-Dallas in that first round, but that could very easily change. Um, in the Pacific, Vancouver, 94 points. They have a pretty good lead there. The Oilers at 86. Probably not going to catch Vancouver for top spot. But the LA Kings are just behind them at 83 points. So they're looking to make a move. The Nashville Predators, with their win today, is going to put them at 86 points. The Vegas Golden Knights at 79, hanging on to that last wildcard spot. With uh, Minnesota and St. Louis just behind them. With St. Louis's win today, they now have 77, um, 76 Minnesota. But Vegas... Having a couple of games in hand there, certainly going to make it even more interesting. Um, Nashville, they're going to have a hard time going anywhere because they're certainly not going to catch the Dallas Stars with 86 points. So Nashville probably going to sit in that second or that first, excuse me, wild card spot. And that's probably A-OK -okay with them. Um, it just means they will probably be facing... Uh, one of well, it's even too hard to tell who they might be facing. So we'll have to we'll have to wait and see. Uh, just a star in the constellation Orion is ready to go supernova. Really, first of all, Orion is one of my favorite constellations. 
Uh, it, it's absolutely beautiful when you can see it. Beetlejuice on pro prep. You, you, wow. You've seen it too. I'd love to see it. All right. Ty and Sunday, my favorite all time least. Those were good days. Those were very good days. Um, so yeah, those are kind of the standings in the playoff pictures. What things are looking like. It's going to get very, very interesting down the stretch. Uh, here's a couple new news and notes with the points picked up in this game so far. Evan Bouchard collected his 17th multi-point game of the year, which trails only Kale McCarr. Bouchard has, like I said, his 17th. Kale McCarr, 23. Quinn Hughes has done it 20 times, and Roman Yossi with 18. So Bouchard just behind those three gentlemen uh, for the most among defensemen this season's. The last Oiler Blue Liner to record as many single season was Paul Coffey, who did it 17 times in 86-87. As well, Zach Hyman with his 47th. Uh, the Oilers have won five games this season where they have overcome multi-game deficit, and they trail the Avalanche, who have done it eight times. The Stars 7, Flames 6, Lightning 6 for amongst the most of all teams. So, the flame or the uh, Oilers here, you can never count them out because they can come back real, real quick. Uh, taking a look, it looks like Antemi Panarin doing a whole lot today, picking up a hat trick. Panarin, a hat trick tonight. His fifth hat trick in a New York uniform. The only player to record as many with the Rangers uh, was Mika Sabanajad. So he's still. Active and playing. So there you go. Panarin picking up a hat trick tonight. That's pretty incredible. I'm just trying to look for any other big call out milestone stats that have happened today. Dylan Larkin scoring his 206 career goal. Moves within one of tying Gerard Gallant for 14th place in Wings history. Patrick Kane scoring his 467th career goal. Uh, moves him within one of tying Pat LaFontaine for six among the most uh, for a U.S. born skater. Matthew Barzell hit the 70 point mark for the second time in his career. Became the third Islanders player in the past 30 years to record multiple 70 point seasons with the club after John Tavares, who did it four times, and Ziggy Palfi. There's a name from the past. Ziggy Palfi, who did it three times. Uh, let's see. Jack Hughes scoring for New Jersey. He already owns the most points by a player prior to their 300th game with the franchise with 109 goals. Ty Brian Gianta for fifth most. Stefan Riche, Wilf Paymont, Claude Lemieux, and Zach Parise round out the top four. He scored again, Hughes did. He only two players in franchise history have scored three goals on the man advantage in a single contest. Aaron Broughton and Claude Lemieux both did it. So he's got two power play goals. One more will put him in that company. And it looks like Luke Hughes will join Will Butcher and Bruce Driver as just the third rookie defenseman in franchise history with three power play assists in a game. Wow, so there's some stats going on. Let's keep going here. Colton Perienko recorded his third, 10th goal season with the Blues. The only defenseman in franchise history with as many campaigns are Al McInnes, Peter Angelo, Brown Pronger, Rob Ramage, Shattenkirk, Steve Duchesne. Nice. All right, let's keep going. We're looking for some key stats going on today. Brett Pesci for Carolina recorded his 198th career point. Moves into a tie with Mark Howe. Fifth most by a defenseman. Uh, let's see. Sebastian Ajo got an assist on Chatfield's go-ahead goal to record his 544th career point. Owen Tippett with an assist extends his point streak to a career-high five games. Uh, anything in the Nashville Panther game? Philip Forsberg extended Nashville's lead, became the second player in franchise history with 70 power play goals, joining Shea Weber. So good for Forsberg. 
aka Scoresburg. And it looks like that, oh, here with Zadarov scoring the Canucks' first two goals, he can become the second defenseman in NHL history to record multiple natural hat tricks. The only other to achieve this was Al McKinnis. So interesting. So there's some news and notes from across the league in all the games that have taken place today. Some good milestones, some guys getting some points. Always good to see. Raymond, what's going on? Welcome in. Yeah, your time. Third period action is coming up in just a couple of minutes. Again, if you are just coming in, make sure to tap that thumbs up. We're 20 away now from 100 on the night. Uh, let's see. Did I miss anybody else's comments? No, I did not. All right. So let me put it out there in. Actually, before I do that, let me check something here real quick. Let's take a look at the upcoming. Uh, we need Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. So the Leafs with a back to back Leafs playing these Edmonton Oilers on Saturday and they're playing the Carolina Hurricanes on Sunday. There's a lot of big games going on this weekend. As I said, Islanders Jets is going to be a big one. Minnesota St. Louis is going to be big. Rangers Panthers is going to be a doozy of a game. Calgary Vancouver is going to be a doozy of a game. Sunday, there's some big ones. Pittsburgh, Colorado, that's going to be great. Sunday afternoon. Prep coming in, gifting a membership. Casey, congrats. Prep, thank you so much. Some stick taps for Prep. Sneaking one in there. Thank you so much, Prep. Appreciate the gifted membership. Uh, so coming up this week, the Leafs are playing on Tuesday against New Jersey. Come on. Thursday, or Thursday against Washington. That's going to be a rematch. Why are they doing this a lot? Going back to back. And then are they next Saturday against Buffalo? So these Buffalo Sabres, Toronto's going to visit them one week from Saturday. So three games next week, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday for the Maple Leafs. These Edmonton Oilers have a little bit of a tough couple of matchups as well after this game. They have a few days off until they take on. So Toronto on Saturday, Ottawa on Sunday. And then Winnipeg on Tuesday. So Edmonton, Winnipeg, that is going to be an unbelievable game. Auto on Winnipeg. And then Thursday, Auto, or, sorry, Edmonton and Winnipeg. And then Edmonton and LA on Thursday. So a couple of good games, a couple of great games. It's going to be real, real interesting. Hey, hey, white trash guy, what's going on? Welcome in. Get ready for the third period. Let's flip back to the screen. And see how this one is going to play itself out. You know, you want the game to reflect. All right, Canada now our we do have a slight delay a between what we're seeing on the screen, the stat game. line across the top, and what to the actual play-by-play play will be. The feed is a little delayed. Uh, when I came on tonight, I had to subscribe to again, so everyone check that you subscribe to the for a couple of channels. Oh, thank you for calling that out. Let's let's add that in here. Make sure. Well, it's a little small. And Gene Dampy, who was on the ice bigger. before the game, I called his game. Make sure you your check your subscriptions, Lynn. Like thank you so much for that call out. I will, uh, I will make sure the next couple of games to set that reminder. All right, here we go. Third period in action. Let's go, Buffalo. Let's go, Oilers. Let's see who's going to take this one up. Redneck Ranch dropping Trevor Kidd. That's the name I have heard. And Edmonton's Corey Perry will bring it out of the zone. Greenway. Clipped by Nurse as he got it in deep. Skinner to set it level. Both teams have been excellent in the third period this year. They rank third and fourth, respectively. Edmonton at plus 25. The Sabres at plus 22. 
And as a result, the record in games that have been tied after two are terrific for both teams. McDavid off a feed from Dreisaitl. A little wrinkle there. Lead pass right side. And Tate Thompson shot disappears. Thank you for hitting that the right Really Stewart's appreciate it, Emma. Good pace to start this third period. Skating both teams. Danny, and what's going on? The Welcome Sabres in. with the first little bit of pressure. Then a transitional play once again. They've done this a bit. Get the puck up the ice in a hurry on a little bit of a turnover just inside the line. It's Tage Thompson that has a look. Doesn't quite get the shot away. You're just he wants coming to, in. Make sure you tap that Stuart thumbs Skinner up. The crest, but Skinner was 17 in the right likes away from 100. What do you think here? Goal the for wrinkle, tonight? Louis, not coming off a penalty kill. You've got McDavid, Drysaddle, and Hyman reunited. A little load up for Chris Knobloch. Wants to put yeah, Raymond, it's been a great game. game on Buffalo. Back and forth. Right. Buffalo would take the lead. Sorry. Edmonton Buffalo, catches just, up just on it. Just to try and swing the momentum. You know, you and I were talking about. I think aside from the whoop, here we go. Hyman lead pass, rich shot to line. Luke and again way out the challenge. For, for a five-minute period, I mean Edmonton yeah, was really Shimmy taking coming in. Buffalo in the second period, but I'd say the Sabres have been in control. They haven't really <laughs> been worrisome in the game. And I think Shimmy time. Chris Knobloch wants to change up. Here's a penalty draw, and again it's off the of on Bouchard, he takes some time back, loads it up, and buys his time here, knowing they're going to have a power play. But this is it. Put the pressure on a little bit, load it up, and just change it up to try and take a little bit of the momentum advantage. Wow, the extra scare. Over to Evander Kane, and that was popped up and out of play. And Paterka, who's drawn two tonight, now takes one. Paterka's had a great game. I mean, he's had two goals goal today. He's seven. been all so over, he's had an event all over the ice. Shot by Hammer, and you made the point. Look how far he was. Yeah, not a, a six, five cuts that not a great Here, penalty. I mean, definitely had the stick to under the, the arm. Once he got the but you can call there, this Hyman on every right shift in every game. Closes down on it, keeps his feet in the Bouchard. Thank you, Raymond. I appreciate it. I was playing around with some of the new the new stuff. And makes to it try and get it to fit in a little bit. It was. Hyman and McDavid stacked in the slot. And Drysaddle wins the face-off. I appreciate the feedback. Hopkins will get it back from Bouchard. Cross to McDavid. Now Bouchard. Here's one the one-timer one -time -time Bouchard. Bouchard. has converted their previous power play opportunity in this game. And now McDavid against Buffalo's wobbly kill. Eugene Hopkins will have to glide back. Yeah, Ace, he has been outstanding. Lucan in has just here. been wonderful for the sake of 22 penalties over the last five plus games. Bouchard, Eugene Hopkins will give it back to one timer dressing the stuff. I am putting it across so empty net and could couldn't get a stick on it. And it's launched down the Become left close, side by Dylan but not close enough. Dan, <laughs> so that is our. Up your pie hole logo. So that came out of that came out of last season when the Leafs beat Tampa Bay in the first round. Um, I got a little excited. I got a little excited and I came out of nowhere. I shouted out 19 years up your pie hole because the Leafs had just beat their 19 year streak. We and had such a laugh kind of at it. It was up, one of those things that I just blurted out, ridiculous thing. Right and um, Almost, we, it became an ongoing away. joke. So, of course, I had to make a logo out of it. Yeah, you can see it if you go um, if you go to our store connected to the YouTube page, you'll see a better picture of it. We put it on a bunch of merch and stuff. <laughs> yeah, Chris. No, not me. Especially not in the playoffs. To power now, power would be wise to hang on to it as long as he can. Here. That's he what Alex was telling him. Go back, go back, go back. I mean, a close circle around, getting things set up. Oh, battled three Oilers for that puck up for grabs. And while you don't want to go fishing for a puck with Alex Tuck, take the body. He's a big guy. Dylan Cousins shot deflected out of play by stature, <laughs> but <laughs> Edmonton just that's drained awesome. the clock. So with a couple of minutes gone here in the period number three, Oilers not getting it done on the power play. 
but they're looking to hang on. Last time we watched the Oilers play, it did go to overtime. Nugent Hopkins attempts to hit. And if I recall, they here, lost he in heartbreak right with point the board, five with seconds to go after going in, in that game. Nugent Hopkins leaving the off. bench, going down the tunnel area. We'll have to keep an eye to see if right he does return. The boards. Yeah, me too, Chris. That I Just love that shot team. For the Oilers power plays, Alex Tuck. Basically, almost single-handedly wiped out the last 25 seconds of that kill. Cousins did a nice job of weaving his way through the neutral zone and getting one toward the net. Buffalo poked away from Byram in front. Evander Kane kept it alive for Corey Perry. Rolls out in front. Standing Look it in front, can't, can't put it through. <laughs> That's who hit a bodyguard. That's funny. And here it is, they're digging at it. We know what's about to happen. Talking about Darnell Nurse, he fires one from long distance. And he puts that one in. Well, you know what, Craig McTavish boxed off for a gene, talked about Evander Kane. Oh! Great stick check right here, relentless again, takes the puck back a second time. Nice goal. Oilers take the lead, four to three. Good battling. It comes back to Nurse. See, we badmouth them with scores. That happens every time. Every time we start really giving it to somebody, <laughs> they put it through. Doesn't really matter. That's a relentless shift. Great job by that line to forecheck, create the shot, and now Edmonton with their first lead of the game. Yokoharu offside down the right wing. Nurse kind of that little shuffle to his left to break the lane. Well, you could see him. He was sprawled out a couple times, had to go back down to his pads, get back up again. Henry gets plastered. From no, Nurse the picks up his ninth up, of the year stick. And right here, from Stetcher. He get a piece of it, I'm not sure if he does, but there's a screen out in the high slot. And for Luke and he has to get back up, set himself, get himself in the position after all of that traffic in front of him, all this pressure, like they said. And it finds its way in the back of the net. No stick, here's a chance. Yeah, Chris. <laughs> Love it. Darnell Nurse gets the Darnell Nurse, the yeah. Darnell nurse dialing the long distance. A period covering 28 starts. Four pucks have found their way past. Uka, Pekka, Lukanen. A uh, shot with eyes from Darnell Nurse, and he changes the angle. Instead of just trying to pile drive it through the four coming out to him, he takes that step to the inside and towards the net. That little bit of a step opens up the little lane underneath the stick between the body, and that's where it goes through, and it finds its way through. Great shot, great presence in front. As you mentioned, all that traffic and, you know, collisions in front of Lukanen. He doesn't have a stick. He gets up. Pretty hard to make a save. Well, and that's how you get four pucks behind the red hot goalie. Is you have to make it a tough night. Here they come again. Nick David dishing it off. Dry saddle dumps it off. They score. That's going to be Ekholm, I believe. Ekholm putting it in, getting his. I think that's his Not second of the, the game. The Oilers the now. Stepping up. The panel just couldn't help not talking about. He's playing some great hockey. This is Nick David with a beautiful outside inside sweep. Five dry settle and a backhand drop pass. No looker. I mean, he puts it on a tee for Ekholm. He clappers that one from between the hash marks. Oh, Ekholm, his seventh. Got a chance for Lukanen on that one. Transitional play after the 4-3 goal. They go right back to work. And that home of the second makes it 5 3. Dry Seidel picking up his 54th assist. Wow. And Mick David, his 85th. Ain't nothing I can do about it. <laughs> I get what I get and I don't get upset. Pure talent coming in. What's up? Quite frankly, that with 11 games left on its schedule, following tonight, Buffalo cannot afford.
afford to lose. He can't lose a 2 nothing lead on the road. Owen Power shot. Oh, and a miss by Greenway. He had a high slot look. Cousins unable to get his shot through. Carrick did not get it out. Let's go! Power Buffalo trying to press. Rolls to his left. Back to Cousins, his wrist shot. Zupure coming in with that subscribe. Thank you Looking so much. Dealing to Cousins. Now Benson swarmed under by Darnell Nurse. Tremendous defense. Big battle going there. on in the corner. The Oilers, CeCe going to come away with it. Going to play it off the boards now. after taking a couple of whacks. Sabres turn around. Owen Power. This young race. defensive Quite core of the Sabres like just can't handle the offensive powerhouse like of the Edmonton just Oilers. Because of the demoralizing aspect of it, they're unable to rally here. Nugent Hopkins shovels it play this up the through the neutral zone. Yoko Haru up the middle for Olafson. And then off the skate, stepping up his power. The rifle of the Sabres have a good young core. It's going to take them some time to develop. The question will be, can they keep them all as their contracts start running up? Through the neutral zone, that gets picked off. Puck sitting right by the Oilers' bench as they were going for a line change. Very close. Too many men, but they were lucky there. They got away with it. Edmonton hops on a play in tomorrow and heads to Toronto. Buffalo coming in, shot, great save. He picked that up and shot it in one motion. Here comes Edmonton again down the right side. Curling toward, trying to throw it in front. They can't. Back to the line, Bouchard, he's going to tee it up. Tip, that can't go in. Bouchard knocking it down in the air, keeping it towards the Buffalo side. Now he's going to play this one. Tuck trying to pick it up, has it stripped away from him. Big hit there in the corners. Kane took the bump. Yeah, I think they will. It'll take them a, a, another year or two, but I think Buffalo, again, if they can keep everybody, will be a very good team. <laughs> That's right, Chris. Every time someone steps out, somebody scores. Put it down low. Dry subtle way to come up. Now, Louie, will be curious to see how Edmonton handles prosperity here. Can they shut the game down over the last 11 minutes? Well, I think it's important they don't sit back and they have it here so comes far. Here comes Buffalo. They're going to play this one. The boards are out. Skinner out to stop. A few fumbles it. Big hit behind the net there. Edmonton almost got stopped. Long pass. Here comes Hyman down the right side. He's going to take a big hit. Dalene can throw. Back through the neutral zone. Hyman continues to battle in there. McDavid off the boards. Little misread there with his defenseman. Buffalo circling back around. He's going to regroup at neutral. Yokoharu to Cousins. Spin move. Nice move by Cousins. God, I like, I like Cousins a lot. He's got some good edges. Back to the line, over to Power. Power, nifty little move. A little behind the back, throwing in front. Tip just rides. We're in the back half of this period now. 5-3, Oilers have a commanding lead. Well, it's only two goals. But the way they're playing right now, it seems like a commanding lead. They're going to bring it out again through the neutral zone, bringing this one in. Coming across, here's another shot. I'm liking and making the save. McLeod picking this one up. McLeod back on the puck for Edmonton. Brown. Taking it, moving it along quite nicely. Brown. Hey now, Greenway what's going on? Welcome in. Kulak. Great job, Oilers. Love the South Kulak. Park. Now That's Edmonton awesome. Looks to establish the cycle. Kulak was thinking about changing. If only game with more than 30 shots on that. Just. <laughs> For the Oilers, they're over 30 Old shots. Back Buffalo on now closing in. But Matias Yanmark has gone down the tunnel here. That was a block shot, I believe, the last shift that he had high in the slot. So with McDavid, uh, Jeff, I'm starting to do a little more and more. Uh, we focus, I mainly do more Leaf games just because they're on the East Coast. Um, when the Oiler games are a little earlier, I try to get those ones in. Uh, the 10 o'clock games. We've, we've done a couple. Um, come playoff time, 
We're going to see the schedule. Uh, we're going to be picking a couple of teams to follow. Ideally, I'd like to do the, the Toronto as the early game, Edmonton as the late game. Uh, but we'll have to see what nights they fall on. But yeah, we're going to be doing more and more Oilers games down the stretch for sure. Dry subtle moving up. Edmonton able to cash in. And when it comes playoff time, we're streaming just about every single night. Here's a penalty coming up to the Oilers. Bad little trip there. And Buffalo gifted one there with eight and a half. Oh, imagine. No. Last time Lukanen gave up five goals in a game December the 13th against Colorado. The delayed penalty on Great the Oilers coming up. Thompson. Alex Tuck. Darlene fires it across. Thompson. Cross ice and one time a field line. That was a good look. And Paterka knows it. Had a hat trick on his stick. But yeah, as I was saying, three, come playoff we time, come we'll be streaming back, just about every night. Uh, we might Perry, take a night off. They're the going to a commercial down. break. We might take a night off here and there, uh, but we will be doing one, if not two games uh, every single night for the full four rounds of the playoffs. Um, obviously, round one, there's a lot more games. Um, by the time we get to round two, we're going, you know, one game a night. Round three, usually... Same thing, actually, it'll be every night, and then come the Stanley Cup Finals, we'll have every game. So, yeah, we're going to have a ton of hockey down the stretch. Uh, I, I'm i sad they're going to come take it away from me, but we're going to keep the Stanley Cup as long as we can. It's going to join us for the playoffs, but uh, we have a lot of fun. We have a lot of fun for the stretch. Yeah, absolutely. Listen, it, it, it's a lot. It's a lot of work. It takes a lot out of me. Um, it's not just doing the games, doing the games is the fun part, right? But it's all the thumbnails, all the setup, everything that has to go into it. It's, it's a ton. Uh, so I try to do as much as I can. Um, but obviously I, I do work. <laughs> so, um, we have to, uh, you know, obviously balance things out, but we'll bring as much as we can. Aaron, how's it going? What's going on? Our resident Vegas fan club. Aaron, hope you're doing well. Good to see you. The Leafs going out first round. Oh, Chris, I hope not. You know, you know it's funny. It's 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 funny because I'm so torn on this, right? Of course, I would love to see the Leafs go on and have a wonderful playoffs and all this. But it's so stressful for me. Um, and the Leafs will have one of the hardest paths to the cup right whether you play boston in the first round or florida in the first round you're going to run into the other one in the second round then you're probably going to have rangers in the conference final it's not going to be an easy path to the stanley cup for toronto but i really hope they do it would be so much fun you know oilers fans stuck in the middle of manitoba i hate the late time starts most games blacked out thanks jets i grew up a leafs fan yeah, there you go. So, yeah, we'll, we'll have a ton of stuff. Of um, the good news um, here, Oilers of course, for the playoffs, the we'll get every game. We don't have to worry about dancing around black. Uh, uh, down the stretch, we'll, we'll see. We do, we do unfortunately run into some of the blackout situations. But uh, we'll have to see. Well, I'll say one thing about this young Paterka. You don't have to ask him to shoot the puck. He's looking to shoot it every time he has it. Thank you, Dan. Some Listen, we're always looking to improve, Hines always Hines looking Hines to make things a little a bit better. Uh, we want to bring the, the best the action to you so you guys Edmonton can follow the stats yep, and, and the players and all that. But we also want to make sure you're having fun and give you that the tools, you know, the redeems, the graphics, all that stuff. He's got skill. Here's Thompson. When you're second on this team in Lightning goals, will eliminate doing the rate. Ooh, Ooh Ryan. That would be interesting. Short-handed. He's got it. Adam Enrique fires him. It's just tipped wide. That pass. Aaron's calling it Rangers yeah. versus Vegas. I think he was a little concerned with if it gets turned over, he's the defensive. <laughs> Thank you, Jeff. I really appreciate that. The zone. 
He wants to make sure he gets that puck down low, so he takes so We're all about community here. We're all about having fun. Should be a four on two going the other way. Sometimes it gets a little out of hand, a little crazy. Oh, here's the Edmonton right in front, or sorry, Buffalo right in front with a shot. And a nice stop. Buffalo coming in, they bobble it, can't get the shot off. Here's a shot Skinner making that save, and he's going to squeeze those pads real tight. Seeing work really for the first time all period comes up with two. I got to tell you, if I really don't want to see, and Aaron, I know you're a Vegas fan. But I'm really mad at Vegas for their manipulation of the salary cap and long-term IR and all of that. They did it last year. They won the cup. It kind of looks like they're doing it again this year. And I know it's within the rules as they are, but I just I don't like it. So for that reason alone, I hope Vegas doesn't go to the finals. Actually made mention of the fact that Stewart Skinner they have put together a group a of pretty matchup. impressive talent. I, I think he Timeout called for Buffalo. Wanted another shot at it, having seen a two nothing lead get away. It's, yeah, days it's still ago. so and early. Like the rest of his so, teammates, I mean, kind of with, down with the standings as close along. as they are, it's, well, it's crazy about the to record think of that Buffalo this is going to change. In the last few years, Twenty-five times couple years. between. And well, not really. You know, like he's been 15 times he's seen between that now and the end so of the you season saw what over the next in Buffalo three and a half on weeks March or so. They come into this game. Four he wants to be warm up, but it's I mean, he was patrolling around every day. He's going to check the standings, and it's going to change. But One team is going to jump here, there. He saw a couple it's going to impact the playoff match. And he's really focused, and that's something that I believe is a difference in Stuart Skinner. And it's going to be a lot of fun. He talked about him and the fact that he's just worked on his game, worked on his game, continued to drive. But it's the mental aspect of it for me, Jack, that he can. York, Aaron, that would be an amazing series. Like we were saying, it would be a fun series to the most important times of the game. Off the draw, Just with the possibility of two Canadian two teams tonight. going to the finals, Third time he's done this country would be going bonkers. In addition to his fourth three point game, and again, I mean, the Buffalo the down by two. Time is starting to run out. A terrific <coughs> Excuse me. Thought he was the best player on the ice for Edmonton against Montreal. Good work with their own worst nightmare in that level. On the boards, Luke and Back to the line. Here's a shot. That was a right three. Hit a volley and dropped down in front. Buffalo holding the line. Desperately going to play this one. Power play. Trickling around a little toe drag. Back to the line. Thompson. He's looking. He can't pull the shot. Flicked in front to Greenway. Back across. Here's a one timer. Out of the net. This one is going to come through. Everyone is ripping at it. Another area where Edmonton has had the better buckler. And now Corey Perry. French Perry coming in. in wraps Thompson it around. The All the way back down. down. This one drops. Thompson with 5.50 to go. You don't play this one ahead. It's Alex Tuck getting the line. Throwing it around the boards. I'll be picked up by Connor McDavid. Three more points tonight for him. And a pass up the gut that Corey Perry just could not handle. Power finds Benson. Soft chip to Let's go, Oiler chance. Bustling through. Reverberating throughout Rogers' place. Here's Zach Hyman breaking in. Dropping for dry center across to McDavid. Poked away. Good backtrack by Benson, but then McDavid stole it. Dashed in a quick shot. Stopped by Lucan and again Zach Hyman. Here's McDavid. McDavid got to feed this it's over. Shot in front. And that was blocked by Bowen Byron. Who clubbed it up the left hand side. We know it's coming. Benson to power. Shooting his cousins. And that skipped into the corner for Stetcher. This clear finds Adam Henrique. And Leon Dreisaitl makes certain to get it in deep. McDavid, beautiful play against Cousins. And a feed shoots and scores. <laughs> Hyman ripping it through. What a goal. And another feed. McDavid and Dreisaitl again. 86 assists now for McDavid. 48 goals for Zach Hyman. Unbelievable. 
he is going to hit 50 goals. I cannot believe it. Forty-eight goals. Zach Burns. For his second and 48th of the season, 6-3 Edmonton. What a sequence on that play and what a pass by the game to find Hyman in that slot. We'll see whether Dry gets the second assist. I think he will. But the game for me, Lou, it's not about the look. It's the extra. Sonny, what's going on, God? It's such a bad team. Listen, this was a close game. This was a close game. We were tied at threes coming in the third period. And Edmonton just unloaded. Right? It took them took them about six minutes or so, if I recall correctly. Um, no, maybe it was four minutes. I don't know. Whatever it was. Took them the first bit of the period. And boy, oh boy, they just started shooting lights out it is absolutely wicked and wild what this oiler team is doing if you're just coming in thanks for joining us for the closing few minutes of this hockey game it has been a doozy edmonton now up six to three over the buffalo sabers and zach hyman it is i mean he is lights out 48 goals he's guaranteed he's breaking 50 at this point <clears throat> zach hyman at 86 assists 14 assists away from 100 so hi, uh, McDavid looking to get to 100 assists. This is incredible. Hyman in Toronto for 50. Oh, my God. Jeff, wouldn't that be the ultimate slap in the face? I mean, that would be incredible. Who do they lose to in their first game at Maple Leaf Gardens? Oh, my God, Chris. That's going way back. Way back. Four minutes, that's true. There's a there's a possibility, and you got to believe Buffalo is probably going to pull their goaltender. So there might be an empty net goal available. Oh, Aaron, that would, that would be pretty good. <laughs> you have no idea. <laughs> Chris, that's funny. Now, you have to look it up now, Chris. You, got, you put it out there. You got to find the answer. <laughs> Welcome in, everybody. Thanks for being here. Make sure to tap that thumbs up button. Hit that like button. We're looking for 10 more likes on the board. And if you're not already subscribed, hit that subscribe for us. We are 13 subscribers away from 11.5. Unbelievable. What a night. This has been amazing. Thank you all for a great hockey game. We only have a couple of minutes to go. So let's see if the Oilers can hang on. Or is Buffalo going to pull the goalie and try to get three here in the next few minutes? Here we go. Dryson is now up to 90 points. McDavid at 112, and all of a sudden, just six behind Nikita Kucherov for the league lead. Nate McKinnon is at 117, by the way, so it's going to be a heck of an Art Ross race. Send in deep. Here it is. Thank you for hitting that like. And Thank you for hitting that subscribe. What time is that? Second time gained. Lakin and Lukanen, who's had an unbelievable game, is starting to fade away. Yeah, it's kind of been the way it's gone for Evander Keen lately. Almost 40 shots game. now for the Oilers. He's been around and, he's been edgy. and, and of all the goals, them, they only have one best. power he's got play one goal. Good look and then a second one that deflects in. Can't get it straight through top. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a stranger here. That's probably a fair bet. Lukanen has to cover that up and get a whistle. Here's a backhander by Kane off the draw, and that's snare. Nate, by how's it going? He's Welcome in. 39 shots tonight. Jeff, thank you. Appreciate that. What you want it's been a lot of fun having you. Great getting to know you. Flexibility. I'm doing very well, Nate. Thank you for asking. How are you doing this Oilers. fine hockey evening? Oilers have done a nice job consistently building. Lost to Chicago 2-1. to one. Lukanen and the game's kind of broken here in the last 10 minutes. Another drive by well, There you go. I'm a stranger. You got Chicago. Remember Buffalo led three Buffalo bringing this one in. And it looks like they're going to put another one in the Oilers are. Paterka led to the equalizer from Hyman, the first of his two. And Edmonton's rattled off three unanswered here in the third period to break it wide open. Brebs to Gergensen. For Buffalo, it'll be a second Oh, we'll take the Oilers to the Stanley Cup. Good defense and good goaltending. This road trip and a win in Calgary, but time's running out for the Sabres. 
they look to avoid a 13th straight year of missing the playoffs. Only the New York he missed all the goals. Well, here's one for you. Coming up right now, two on one. McLeod shoots, scores. What a goal by McLeod. Walking in, just snipes the corner. Absolutely a beauty. That was a great one. Spaceman, what's going on? Make sure it gets out, and this is a good I don't think they'll make the finals. You know he probably wants to I like the moves room. the Bolts made, but I don't think it's good enough for them to go. Could have dropped following Kerfoot and kept time. And, oh, Lee, don't even. Don't get me started. <laughs> nice goal. The Oilers crushing Ryan McLeod. He gets this one. That's McLeod's 12th of the campaign, of the season. Unassisted. A big of McLeod's fan. It's going to be real interesting, Nate, to see what happens down that stretch. I like McLeod, McLeod and Fogel. They're like the utility players. They, this team needs guys like that. Those workhorses. A couple minutes left to go, or actually under a minute to go. Regular time. He is a little behind. To let you know, we are not going to be streaming the Leafs and the Oilers game on Saturday. We're actually going to be at the Toronto Marley game ourselves. I don't know when we will be back on Saturday, so I don't think we're going to be live on Saturday. We will be live on Sunday. The Leafs playing Saturday and Sunday, so we will have Sunday's game for you. If we get back at a reasonable time on Saturday, we'll jump on and go live. But we will be at the Marley game Saturday afternoon, so the first period of the Leafs game for sure we won't be on. Uh, so we'll have to see what the time is going to look like. Just to let you guys know. Toronto Blue Jays kicking off March 28th. Yeah, Blue Jays season getting underway. We'll have some Jays games over the course of the summer as well. Playing this one across. Really 10 seconds left to go in this hockey game. This one is going to wrap up. We will listen to the rest of the feed as the feed is coming up to one minute. We're going to let this one run its course. We're going to let this one come to its natural conclusion. And has put this one away. Edmonton's going to go to 37 9 and 3 in its last 49 overall. And 22 4 2 in its last 28 at home. Cece at the right hand side for Connor Brown. Final 30 seconds. Brown stays with him. Gets this off to Cece. Going to get a shot away. Brown. There's a shot. 20, 20 seconds to go. By Connor Clifton. He'll take an icing call for 15 seconds. That's going to be a nice and call. So this one is going to come to an end. The Edmonton Oilers are going to hang on to win this one. This one is going to be in the books. You know what? We'll just call it. There's 30 seconds left on our feed. But the scoreboard says it's game, set, match. This one is in the books. Game over. The Edmonton Oilers take the win. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, so much for being with us. If you missed it. Well, let me run down all the stats and the goal scores for you. We're six likes away. If you haven't hit that thumbs up, hit that like, of course, nine now subscribers away. So thank you for all the support tonight. Buckle up. Here are your goal scores. Uh, Paterka is 22nd from Tuck and Thompson. Olofsson his seventh from Byram and Rusek. Leon Dreisaitl, his 35th from Nugent Hopkins and Bouchard. That was in the first. The second period, it was Ekholm, his sixth from McDavid and Bouchard. Paterka, his 23rd from Clifton. Zach Hyman, his 47th from Ekholm and McDavid. In the third period, and it looks like Connor Brown scores right at the end to make it 8-3. to three. Wow. Darnell Nurse got his ninth from Spencer. 
Matthias Ekholm, his seventh from Dry Sidle and McDavid. Thank you for that subscribe. Really appreciate it. Redneck Ranch, thank you. Uh, Ekholm, his seventh from Dry Sidle and McDavid. Zach Hyman, his 48th and second of the game from McDavid and Dry Sidle. Then Ryan McLeod is 12th and just a second ago. Connor Brown puts in his second. Connor Brown, yes, I'm so happy for him. His second from Sam Carrick and Cody Cece. Overall, 41 shots on net for the Oilers, 29 for the Sabres. Oilers take it 58% in the faceoff circle. They go one for two on the power play. The Buffalo Sabres 0 for three on the power play. 32 hits for the Oilers, 28 for the Sabres. Sabres with 20 block shots, 18 for the Oilers. Nine giveaways for the Oilers, five for the Sabres. 12 takeaways for the Oilers, eight for the Sabres. The Oilers take this one. They even the season series. Buffalo took the first one, three to two. March 9th tonight, though, Edmonton wins it eight to three in a big, big way. Huge win for the Oilers. This was a, this was a good overall, overall game. Happy to see them pick it up. In terms of points, when we look at the Edmonton Oilers, four points for McDavid, all four assists. Dreisaitl with three points. Hyman with two, both of those goals. From the defensive standpoint, Matthias Ekholm with three points. Evan Bouchard picking up two. I know I said at the beginning I was going to give Lekin in a star no matter what because he was playing so well. But giving up eight goals, I don't think I can do that. Florida Park Explorers, what's up? Our partner channel, check them out, the Florida Park Explorers. Thank you, my friend. I hope you're doing well. Hope you guys are all feeling much better. There you go, Margaret. That's right, Connor Brown coming in. You're very welcome, Margaret. Thank you for coming in. I hope you're. Uh, hope everything is going well over there. All right, let's go. What we think the three stars should be, and then we'll we'll see what the real three stars should be. Uh, I think you know. My gosh, it's it's so tough. Um, I want to give Hyman that star, but Drysaddle, I think Drysaddle is going to take star number two tonight. I'm going to give it to him. Matthias Ekholm is going to get, sorry, Drysaddle is going to get star number three tonight. Ekholm gets star number two. And with four assists tonight, I got to give it to Connor McDavid. I mean, he was just buzzing all over the place tonight. Um, he also threw four hits tonight, by the way. McDavid, four points and four hits. And uh, my God, what an effort by Connor McDavid. It is ridiculous. All right, let's see if we can pull up the three stars, what the actual three stars were, see if we are in agreement or if we were nowhere close. Uh, let's see. Someone's going to, here we go. Three stars. So they have the same in a different order. Leon Dreisaitl was star number three tonight. We got that one matched. They gave McDavid star number two and Ekholm star number one. We just reversed those. So we agree on the three stars, just a different order. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, thank you again for joining us, hanging out tonight. What an incredible night. So much fun. I'm glad we met a bunch of new people along the way. So thanks for hanging out with us, and we we'll hope we'll see you again. Uh, I want to thank Prep for the gifted membership tonight. Thank you, Prep. Much appreciated helping our viewers pick up those gifted memberships and uh, paying it uh, paying it forward so they can play with some emojis. Uh, thank you to our mods that stuck around late with us and had some fun. Really appreciate it. It has been a wonderful night. To all of our channel members, thank you for taking part in what we do. We appreciate you so much. And for all those that found us the first time ever tonight, thank you for giving us a chance. If you subscribed, we appreciate you. If you didn't subscribe, We'll get you next time, but definitely come back and check us out. As you heard a couple people say tonight, they got unsubscribed. You two just did a big, um, a big rollout of some new features and some upgrades. And some people had their subscriptions removed as well as notifications turned off. So make sure that you see your subscribe button is checked. Your notifications are on and you are good to go. Thanks again, everyone. Have an amazing night. I'm off to bed. <laughs> I'm sure a lot of you are as well. We'll see you this weekend. Have a great night, a great day, and a great weekend. And from all of us here at the Samuel B12 household, thank you for everything. We'll see you real soon. Let's go Oilers. It's
coming. Storm's coming. Tom, I'm coming! And hell's coming with me, you hear? Stanley Cup playoffs coming soon.